What is not lining up here? Okay, ready? Let's call the meeting to order. At six o'clock. Um, our only agenda item for today is to continue review of the agenda. Uh, I guess I'll ask and strongly advise that the answer is no. <laughs> Does anyone have any additional agenda items? Are there problem <laughs> people that <laughs> jump to the head of the agenda tonight or? I don't see them. I don't see them either, but I'm just... I just want to make sure more item. Do. Okay. Uh, a budget agenda related item. Okay. I just want to make sure we leave enough time somewhere along the line to discuss the importance of getting the information on our cash on and then our yep. projected reservation all right. and all our good stuff. Okay. okay. Um how are you thinking of approaching this task? Well, I would like to uh, pick up where we left off on the more detailed review um, and maybe circle back to anything that folks need to circle back to because I know Brian had some follow-ups. So actually, let's do the follow-ups first, if you don't mind, Brian. Sure. Do you want to lead that? Yep. Oh, sorry. Let me just answer your question for me. We'll go through on the updates and then... Um, We'll pick up where we left off and hopefully we get pretty deep into highway. You shouldn't have handed out those cookies. I know. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a good thing. No one's talking. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you want to go ahead? <laughs> Will we be able to provide some additional thoughts on specific line items as we go through this? Or? I think we need to. I think we need to specifically, like the things that are on my mind, probably aside from what Brian has, or maybe in addition to, I think we need to very specifically talk, talk about the health officers. And I think we very specifically need to talk about the sheriff's budget again, because I have a couple just informational things, I guess, mostly. Um, those two are the things on my mind, and I know you've had a bunch of other follow-ups. So. Yep. But yeah, please do. Okay, let's go ahead, let's jump right in. Okay. Um, first thing I want to point out is uh, I was able to rosemary print another uh, budget status report for me. So the year to date on your print copy it has been updated again. Um, this will keep happening until the budget status report that we can run at, uh, at the end of the year. And they're not updated in the Excel copy? Are they, uh, they are not on the Excel copy. Uh, that I mailed yesterday. So. Okay, if you could please, if you don't mind, I yep. know it's kind of a pain, but if you could, every time you make an update, just shoot off that file. Yep. Thank are you. there any other changes on the print copy that are different than are remaining or what on the Excel copy that you sent out? Let's see, I did the budget status report and <clears throat> I updated color coding on a couple of things that we had final numbers for versus estimates and uh i updated the appropriations that we that we've received them also <clears throat> all right so yeah the the status the year to date is updated again um let's see from there uh the i broke out a little bit more detail about the highway grants that it's twenty thousand dollars for local roads and twenty seven thousand dollars for grants and aid grants and aid uh is already approved and uh committed for next fiscal year and local roads is or is not is not is there any local matches with any of those grants? There will be a local match with both of them. Uh, with grants and aid, it will, I included a little bit of cash on the other side in case we needed to do a little bit of a, a cash match with that, but not the full amount. Uh, for the local roads, the project that made the most, the project on, uh, Ben Over Road 
Uh, and a couple of the segments that are not eligible um, for reimbursement, um, but would make sense in the scope of the project. So there'll be a little, the project itself <laughs> closer to uh, about 45 to $50,000 once everything's completed, including time and, and everything else. Uh, and we'll only be reimbursed uh, $20,000 for that. That's assuming we get the local roads grant. Yes. So I, I don't recall if we had settled whether we wanted to take out the... Uh, we do. We don't have it. If we're not approved and awarded, we don't want it in. Okay. So, so I'll take out... 27 instead of 47? Yeah. Where is... Um, when you talked about that additional money, yep. that additional money would only come into play if we got the grant? Correct. Okay. Um, and the follow-up is where would that additional money go? Like in what budget line item? Right now, it is in the... line... 371 uh, construction projects capital. Okay. <clears throat> so that one also needs to be changed. Yes, that one will also have to be changed. Reduce, reduce, reduce it by to District four, 20. To 47. Is it, is it 20 no, or 27? If the 27 is, 37. is approved. Is approved. Oh. So the 20, 20, so 47 becomes 27. On the okay. revenue yep. online, yeah, online, whatever, 31. Yeah, that becomes 27 on both lines. What, what line item or what line number was it again, Brian? 371. 371. And 371 will become what again? That will all 371 will also become 27. Though. That does not make sense. But when you take out the local match. So, so 10 would be out 30. in addition to the project. Right, because the, the Better Roads Grant included some segments that are not eligible for state reimbursement, but makes sense uh, while we're mobilized and doing work. Yep. You know, we're just going to extend the project a little bit. But if we're not, if we want to back it out because we don't know whether it's happening or not, I can back out the whole thing or I could leave in the 10,000 that would not be money in, money out. You so anticipate that, we would do that regardless of whether, the, whether we got the grant or not? Well, if we didn't have, if we didn't get the grant, the $10,000 would yeah, not be spent on anything, really. Or redirected or, it could be redirected or, or unspent. I mean, I'd say leave it in. If we didn't put it in, and we got the grant, we wouldn't have any budget. We would then be scrambling to come up with the 10,000 that we would- 37 instead of 57? Okay. And is this something that's yeah, that you typically get? Yeah, the grants and aid is awarded almost every year. The only years we haven't gotten it <laughs> are years when we had projects that we weren't able to finish before winter started. Okay. And we're- finished with all of our projects now, so. So we're just being cautious. Yes. Uh, let's see. I made some changes to the rental income from the Holcomb house. Uh, to better reflect what we sh what we can anticipate at the end of the year and uh, we'll have next year. Um, we had questions about whether we could make an increase or a change to the rent. Um, we do we had a lease that has expired and we've just been carrying on with the rent. so if there's if we want a new lease and a change, we can do that. So when we used to do the annual uh, lease of the tenants that were in the front part, 
We never renewed Donnie's. We we did not we renew Donnie's. So Brian, on that line item, I see where you've increased the proposed <laughs> for twenty four, but the estimated year end is still at twenty four fifty. Shouldn't shouldn't that be increased? I mean, even at four ninety, we're gonna have. Can you tell me what? Oh, okay. We want line line number. We're good. Yeah, I, it looks like that was another correction that I made on the paper copy that wasn't included in the electronic version that I sent yesterday. Yeah, uh, but the year end is, has not been increased. In that four number, you know, oh, you're right. 5880. Right. Thank right. you. Yeah. Okay. So it should not be 63. It should be. What would what did you have? To well, I think your I think your sixty three might be right if you're talking about increasing the rent. That's if we're talking about right. increasing the rent, yes. but the year end, yeah, at a minimum is going to be four ninety times twelve, which is fifty eight eighty, isn't it? Plus the couple of months that we got from the previous Plus a couple. Of months. I see. What you mean. So the year end is the year end. So he's talking about uh, fiscal year twenty three estimated final. Yeah, Could, right. Needs to be adjusted. Yeah. So would we? 490 times 12 is 5880 plus whatever the other income was. Can we throw 6,000 in there as an estimated year end? Sure. How many months were the previous renters in? They were out. So not the July 1st. So we didn't have any income. Okay. Well, that makes it easier. So maybe we put 5880 in. Yep. That makes sense. I think so. Good. Because that does make a difference. You know, they're going to try to estimate whatever we end up with. You know, goes goes to you know that can possibly be applied to to reduce taxes. Yep. Okay. And so, are we assuming we're going to go to five twenty five and we should probably and we'll take that with them in sixty days? Um, well, well, in July. Okay. This is start. We'll start July first. Yeah. We could raise it before. This could. We could. We gave a couple months notice. We could do a set. That would might be an easier burden. Yeah, I know. Not that it should be a factor, but he's on a third same time. I thought at one point we talked about doing 525 for half a year and then bumping it up to 550 at the beginning of the new fiscal year. I think it probably should be an agenda item, though. You know, if we were to actually change it, yeah, right, yeah, but for budget figures, yeah, let's budget at 525 for the fiscal year just to make it simple, and then I'll add it to an agenda list too. All right, can I can I add? I mean, as he's going through, would that be an appropriate time to, yeah, yeah, yes, please, or, or ask questions? So again, I'm I'm gonna go back, uh, going back up to line twenty-seven, state aid to highways. Um, we Rosemary maybe can answer the question better. The fifty-seven one seventeen, that's in there. That's two payments, and we haven't. I I, I haven't looked to see if that's been updated. That's that's what we've got today. January and yeah, so we're I mean we're pretty sure that we're gonna get the same. Again, okay. that's historical road man. We get the same payment twice. Uh, four, times. Four, four, four times a year is quarterly payment. Okay. So the fifty-seven divided by so two would be double quarter. that fifty-seven. That's kind of where I'm going at for the year end. Could we increase the fifty-seven seven? Uh, could we double that? Rather than so, you got one ten in there now. Yeah, do we think that we could put an that up to one fourteen? You think we'd be safe on that, Rosemary? So does that make sense, people? Yeah, one fourteen, not strictly double. Well, I, I mean, you can double. I I rounded it off. I rounded it yeah. off. Yeah. Um, so instead of 110, one, you can either double it or we put 114. Okay. 
Uh, Stevie, the highway estimated end of year. Line 27, like that. Thank you. Is, is everybody good with that concept? Nope. Yeah, we'll get to um, Then on the current use payment, I, I think we're probably safer to leave that at 95. Um, pilot payment, I'm assuming you've got the full amount, Rosemary. So that 466 that's in there would be a, a good number for year end as well. And then, um, Eric, you and I talked about this, the uh, grand list and equal, equalized education grand list. 12.5, Rosemary sent me a spreadsheet showing the actual payments um, that we have received. If I'm adding those up correctly, I'm coming up with 13,205. Um, that, that was last year. So if we, if we use 13, 13, 2 or 13,000, Copy it from last year. I'm thinking that. Do you think that's reasonable, Rosemary? To so that so what we would be doing there would be increasing. Yeah, fiscal um, year 23. Yeah, the fiscal year from 12.5 up to 13. Yep. And then the A and I only, you know, who knows? Um, okay, so those are those. Then um, the next one I had, which would get us back, I think, to where Brian was. Um, line item 43, miscellaneous revenue. There's a number of $400 in there, and your note on the side is Historical Society Contribution, FY21, no. FY22. What is what is that? Let's strike that. That would have been that 379. The two payments of $37,500. Oh, for the for the um the loan payment. Yeah, uh, it wasn't the loan payment. It was the balance that the historical society was paying back once we had completed paying for the uh, the whole house. Okay, this was uh, payments arranged. Eric and Doug worked on it for the select board. So should we have anything in there under FY24? Uh, just the $400 for miscellaneous. Uh, there's no... Do we have that? Okay, so that's not related to the Historical Society. Correct. Okay. Um, do we have that $400? Uh, well, we've, right now, we think we've got the 509 Oh, sorry, I forgot. Yeah. Um, we typically end up with something in this category. Historically, it's around 500 we've been getting. Yeah. Oh, so that's one of the, the FY23 is one of the numbers that's been updated in your... Uh, yes, it is. All right, so we should, at a minimum, change the five, the 400 to... 509. 509. Yeah. In year end. For year end. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would, well, the estimated year end's already there. Yeah. It's already there. It's just because we're looking at the electronic version. That's why. Well, That's I would, okay. Yeah, I would need the 400 for both because it's you know, a crash. You know, so. um, Duncan, just for your reference, the next line, 44 is 4225. So right after 509. The is projects. Four. Yeah, the projects, yep. Yeah. Okay. And that's basically the calibrate girl on the so we should also increase, we should make that minimum the year end equal to the which yeah. it is. It is it is on your on your paper. On paper, yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Um and then you've got thirty thousand in on line forty six for revenue. Um Buildings, grounds, reserve, restricted fund, and you've got a note of municipal building and town garage. I'm just, I'm just curious what that, what the thirty is. What, That's what is for? A discussion that we, we need to have. Um, so for our, this is this line item is money that we take out of the building okay. and reserve. Fund. Uh, it's not spent here, but it's. One of the ways that we fund fund uh, repairs and improvements to our buildings, the 
Town Garage has is in pretty dire need of at a minimum some right. upgrade to the uh, the hot water system. Uh, right now, the hot water the building itself is powered or is heated by uh, a hot water boiler. That's the only hot water boiler. So when during the summer, when they need to <clears throat> have hot water to wash their hands or wash a vehicle or whatever, it heats up a huge volume of water in order to provide it. Is this oil or propane? Oil. 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 Uh, at the very least, we need to break that out to its own to provide a water heater for the water system that's separate from the boiler for the be, heating system. Should be a heat pump. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I spoke to uh, Efficiency Vermont about what they recommended. We were we originally <laughs> made an on-demand system because it really used all that open, but they say that the uh, heat pump water heaters are pretty much replacing the on-demand. They don't give any incentives for on demand. Right. They ended even their incentive for on demand. Even though it's better for the environment, efficiency remote will not incentivize it. Well, most on demand is propane. Yeah. Not a lot. Wasting a lot of BTUs right now where you would be saving them. So that we, we, do, is, we, do, we need to do something about that. Yeah. Of heater. So we do have to have a larger discussion about what projects we're going to undertake. Um, we've also been issued not a caution, but just a for your information. Uh, the usage at the lower storage building is abnormally high. Usage, uh, usage at the lower storage building for us or, or for the combined town and village? For the combined town and village is abnormally high. The, the heating bill? Yes. Which is funny because the upstairs storage where rack is, they turn the heat way down. It's on like 55 or 60 or something. Yep. You're talking about the joint building? Yes. Yeah. It's the raccoons. It's what? The raccoons. The raccoons. They, they go in and the third yeah. No, they got in the walls a couple of times. So there's probably insulation issues on top of it. Uh, they have. They... It's a guarantee that they've done quite a number to the insulation of the building. I don't know if there's other problems or not. Uh, but yeah, so we, we have a number of projects that we could undertake. What's the time frame on this abnormal reply? Just recently in that last month? Or? I was made aware of it at our. Yeah, it, it, I was made aware of it just now. So it's our. Uh, yeah, within our last usage. Last period. Okay. Yeah. Rossos has mentioned it before. The other thing, Duncan, in this line item, if you look historically, we brought or budgeted to bring in 20,000 out of reserve fund every year, hoping that the uh, some of the joint buildings like a mill house would, would get work, painted. Would get painted. But as you know, it takes <laughs> two to tango and the uh, that dance partner has never stepped up and you yeah. always ended up not pulling the revenue in or, or spending it. Yeah, no, I'm fine with I'm fine with the number. I just I, I wasn't quite sure if well, there was a specific proposal. I'm not quite fine with our estimated final because if we haven't spent anything True. and we're estimating twenty thousand dollars and we haven't talked about any project. I would do it with Or oh. we could do something. Maybe we, we could fix the walls and tower. Yeah. yeah. What does? The tower. But will the village be able to before July 1st? And would we complete the project before July 1st, do you think? Maybe we could Maybe we could get an agreement with them that we'll spend money if you budget for money. Well, something we could do on our own is apply that to the town right? Right. Yeah. You don't need to wait for the village for that. Should probably do that. Can you think of anything else, Brian? That, uh, that's probably that money would go to pay yeah. for that would be either already done or could do before July 1. The hot water would be the first upgrade I'd want to make over at the town garage. There's a, there's quite a bit of work that we could invest at the town garage uh, for improving the break room, improving the you know, plumbing repairs for the bathroom. 
The bathroom, okay, so also the bathroom is really high on that list too because the bathroom floods. We should be fixing the bathroom. Like that should be up here right next, right behind the heat. Floods oh, because water. of water penetrating into the building or? Yeah, yes. yeah. It comes down the park. Did they fix that yet? We were going to drill out a hole and put a sump pump and a bucket in. They made a, a few improvements to it, but they've got more that they want to do before spring. Yeah, so I, we can easily spend $20,000. Not a problem. So yeah. leave it leave it in for yeah. the year end? Yeah, and let's, let's do it. Yeah, okay. Yep. Right. Just make sure we can plug it on like the expense side, yep. That's Where is that on the expense? Uh, it can go into buildings, uh, buildings, uh, capital it? expense. So it can go into line 232. Where is it in, though? Be... Line 232 is where we're primarily estimating that. Okay. So, so it seems to me, just on you know, principle, the hot water heater would be maintenance. It's not capital. Uh, maybe I'm not. Wouldn't that be line 359 buildings, grounds, maintenance, supplies? No, 331, right above 332 are the capital building capital yeah. expenses. I don't know. I don't know. Rosemary, you would know. The hot water heater maintenance reflect the one, or is it um going to last more than a year? Yes. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, it's a capital expense. Is there a reason we have $30,000 in expense rather than twenty? Our typical process has been that we would we didn't pay for full projects out of the reserve fund that we would roughly do uh, about two thirds this year's budget, or excuse me, two thirds reserve and about a third <laughs> this year's budget. Operating. Okay. Uh, okay. Not really a hard and fast rule. Well, that's this year's budget, though. It's not next year's budget. You know, if you look historically, we budgeted that we were going to spend thirty thousand every year. We had, we only brought in twenty thousand, so we were always adding ten thousand out of current operation. Operation. Because the way that line out of marks is the residue of that goes into the reserve. The difference between spending and Budget goes in. I got you. Okay. Okay. And then if we do go over twenty thousand, it's okay because we have a third thirty syndication. Anyway, we just don't put that extra in reserve. Okay. Yes. And then the other one more, um, which should bring us up to where we were. Um, the bridge reserve fund. I understand that thirty-five thousand was for engineering expenses for the Scribner Bridge. Was it the Scribner Bridge? Uh, yes, it's we're out right now for the grant, and uh, thanks to some work that Rosemary did, uh, we were able to fix the last problem they had with issuing the uh, grant approval for the the study. So that is. Not underway yet, but it will be. They should be issuing the final grant agreement for the engineering study for a Scribner Bridge uh, momentarily. Which should be done prior to July 1st. I would expect that we can at least engage with it prior to July 1st. I left something in for next year. Um, <laughs> but, it should not cost us the full 35000 but it's. I don't know how much uh, how much an engineering study is going to cost. We're getting a grant for most of it, but it's just not something I have any practical experience with. So should we be budgeting? If you've got the grant in hand, basically, should we be budgeting anything for proposed 24? And it is, or, or the question would be, is the 15 that you've got in there earmark for something? It's... This is from reserve fund. This is revenue. We're not talking expense yet, though. So. Oh, yeah. I know, but if you look at that bridge and culvert reserve fund, it's it's another one that we match. I don't want to waste it on both sides. Uh, but yes, we can. 
we can't expect this year to spend probably not the 35, but whatever we need to spend in order to execute the uh, engineering study. For next year, once we have the engineering study, we'll then be seeking grant funds for construction. So and the 15 might be go to the match for yeah. the revenue. Why are we pulling the revenue in this for the proposed year end then? Um, we pull the revenue for next year. Like that's what I was trying to get at. We could do it. We're not going to spend. Well, you budgeted it in 23. But I'm saying that our estimated actuals aren't going to spend that money. Right? We're not going to pull that reserve fund. Or are we? Do we move it? Do we move money, Rosemary, for something like this? Okay. Yeah. That's really my question. Okay. Never mind then. If we're moving the money, it's fine. Hold on. Back up on something you said, Duncan. Uh, line 232 of building capital expense. That extra 10000 that we uh, put in for, from the operating budget for the current year, if we do not spend that on a project, that money becomes cash on hand for estimated year end, because that does not move back into the capital reserve fund. Capital reserve fund is funded by the small equipment line item. All right. We did an entity relationship diagram. All right, right. <laughs> you, you lay it underneath your pillow. <laughs> so what's in here is proposed for 45 small equipment I don't know that's why I ever came to do this Someday when I have time, I'm going to get a couple of people in our room and we're going to map all this out. And I want to see the relationships between all these lines and our banks and all of it. All of it. Yeah. Uh, for Monday's meeting, I'll print and bring the report on all the reserve funds again so that we could. Yeah, we need it. Yeah, we definitely will need it for Monday. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's keep moving so we can. Uh, not get stuck. All right. Uh, so yeah, I have the reserve fund going, the expense going down. Now you, no, you pointed out. Did I do the same correctly on? What are you looking at, Brian? So we can follow along. Uh, the expense side of the bridge fund, which is. Uh, line 386. <laughs> line 386 for FY24 needs to be changed and reduced. 386? Yeah. 385, sorry. Is the... Line 385 is the bridges contracted services. Uh, that needs to be reduced to match. Line 49. Well, we're not spending it, though. Uh, for FY24, uh, it needs to be changed. Right. That should be the proposed 15 oh, yeah. if you're going to match. If yeah. you're going to yeah. make it equal to the other line. Yeah, right. and it, it should be It will it will be uh, changed to match whatever we're taking out of the bridge reserve fund, so that like the other years, if we don't spend the money, there's no effect on the budget. Okay, let me reiterate what you just said. For line three eighty five, it just bridges contracted services. The expense for fiscal year twenty three. Will be fifteen thousand. No, no, that's a, that can say at thirty five. The proposed, the other one. Okay, the proposed for twenty four. Okay, got it. So why don't we do this again? Twenty four is going to be fifteen. 
Yeah. Correct. And then and then 385 is money in, money out. Yeah. Yeah. And, and technically, the, the 15 has also, if we spend it. Yes. Because that's that's coming in also in from the Bridge Colorado Reserve Fund. Right. I'm still confused about the spending of the 35000 because we just said we're not going to spend it in this fiscal year. We um, can reduce both of them. Uh, we will be, I'm expecting us to spend something this year, though. Um, How does that work, Rosemary? I just need to ask from the money part of it because that's where I get hung up every time. Say we spend ten thousand dollars on the bridge project. Yeah, that comes out of the reserve fund into revenue. Yep. So, if for this year, end of year, we have thirty-five thousand expected to come out of the reserve fund, so it's revenue into our budget. And we only spend ten thousand of that thirty-five thousand. What does that look like on our? Year I will end? take out ten thousand. Okay. But you can also book it as an anticipated expense against the future year, right? But that would hit our future year budget. It wouldn't hit our twenty-three budget. Yeah. So I mean, it's a little bit of a crapshoot whether you budget it and do your best to spend it. Well, that's what I'm asking. If we know right now we're not going to hit thirty-five thousand dollars, and I think we're hearing, I think we hear that we're not going to, then why wouldn't we say that our estimated revenue is ten or fifteen thousand, our estimated expense is ten or fifteen to match for fiscal year twenty-three, and then bump up fiscal year twenty-four if we think the bulk of that spend is going to be in twenty-four right now? I, I think that makes a little bit of sense. I thought, did, didn't I hear you say that you thought that the engineering study would be done by July 1st? I think there's a good chance that we could be done with it by July 1st. We'll be able to go out to bids soon. Yeah. I don't think it's too weather dependent. I think there's a decent chance that we could be done by the 1st of July. And that study would cost 15 then, probably. 35. 35. Study. If study the study will, will the study will cost less than thirty five. The thirty five is what was budgeted. What was budgeted because we didn't have any idea how much it would really cost us. So we picked a relatively large number uh, to kind of set expectations. The only thing that's important is that we keep the revenue and expense match. It's money in, money out. So even if we spend zero, we'll bring zero in. So fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. So leave it at thirty-five in the current year in fifty. Not not touch anything yet. Yep. Sure. Is Jason participated in building. <laughs> yeah. And did he get a good feel for it? Reasonably, I think. Um, you know, we're hoping meeting? to make another pass uh, together before the meeting on Monday. Uh, Was he invited to be here while we had that discussion? Uh, he, we spoke a little bit about him coming here tonight. I honestly didn't think we'd get that far into highway. Okay. Um, I just know we and he was to... planning. Not, he is. He's pl already planning on Monday's meeting, so he, he'll be here for for that focused discussion on I'm with him Monday. All right. All right. Um, moving on to the second page. No changes here. Uh, I'm going down to line 97, uh, which is the grants for the skate park. Um, so both library and rec had action items from our last meeting. Where do those stand? I don't have them. I don't have them back yet. I had art area <laughs> revenue being reduced to two 
150. You have what? Sorry. I didn't hear you. Gymnastics. Thought it was. Archery. Archery. Archery was being reduced to five. I thought it was 500 uh, because the it's not there was a typo where it was 2,500, not 500. And when we hear back from the library, we'll have yeah, I bet you had a lot of concern about the gymnastics number. This is still at yeah, so 250. Like, so I'm like, they have to do work on it. So let's wait and have them get back to us. But we should have an update for Monday, if at all possible. I, I anticipate having one for Monday. Um, I know Dean's, with the playground equipment showing up on Monday, his plans were greatly disrupted. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're on to the next page. Uh, I wanted to mention line 97 for Grant on uh, the skate park. Uh, this does assume grant funds that they're currently out for. Uh, they're on the expense side also, so it is a, we're not showing a revenue set that isn't balanced on the other side, but it. It's for fiscal year 23 you're talking about? Yep. So that line item 97, when when Robert, when uh, Casey was here before, we she says she's got 16.5 in the bank. Yeah. Yeah. And the five was the grant that we actually approved that night that she was there. Right. Or approved the application for it. Mm -hmm. True. I'm more, I'm more comfortable going with 16 with the known number, with the 16.5. But as long as we Reduce the expense. So yeah. Yeah. That was exactly my question is do we want to back out the anticipated grant from revenue and expense? Sure. Yeah, we said we were going to let's just do it. Great. So turn that to 16, turn the 21.5 to 16.5. Yep. 16.5 is what I have in my notes from last time. The other question before we move on from skate park, Brian. Um, yep. You have a required fund withdrawal of ten thousand. Um, can you explain what that is? Is that something that Casey had in there, or Casey had asked uh, about the taking the ten thousand out of the reserve fund? Uh, I had highlighted that one myself um, because I don't have a. a I don't have an account number for that yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She was looking at the ARPA money. And I, I, the ARPA money was pretty clearly, we're backing that out. Uh, the anticipated grant was one I, I had a, a question about. So. All right, so so look at that. I have a question. Sorry, just before we get off that skate park grant, where is the spend on that one? Uh, that's where I'm going right now, line 311. We'll all back that out to 22,000 from 27,000. In in where does she want the ten thousand to go? We told us she couldn't put it in the budget, so we pulled it out. Uh, we'll well, wait ten thousand. Huh. Uh, the reserve fund ten thousand. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sure. The ARPA. Yeah, the ARPA. We said no. Yeah. But she's got the reserve fund. She's still trying to apply that to the half pipe. The she reserve fund. Up. I think it's. I think it's going for the half pipe. Um. A bowl or something. So should yeah. that should that be under twenty FY twenty four rather than year end, or do you think they're going? Well, if she's taking ten thousand in revenue out of the reserve fund for the end of FY twenty three, it should also be spent on FY twenty three, uh, which is why again why that line three eleven we're reducing it to twenty two thousand. Um, because it, it has some existing 
grant funds and 10,000 from the reserve funds in it for spending. That, the, she knows that that's going to end up with leaving them with about a thousand, about seventeen hundred, almost eighteen hundred dollars in their reserve fund, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm sorry. What what line item was the expense? Three. Three oh, eleven. And so then about six thousand dollars discrepancy between the grant money and what they plan to spend. So I'm sure that some of the uh, $10,000 in the reserve fund. Yeah. So the 27,000 was gonna be changed to what, Ryan? 22. 22. Oh, that's the fund. Okay. That's a 5,000 in anticipated grant. Okay. okay. All right, moving on to historical society next. Yep. Are we? Okay, we're good. The all set up? Yep. Okay. I don't think there was any questions on the income there. Nope. <laughs> you know, same thing. To a lot of I thought we had agreed to. Uh, Bring their estimated year end for 23 and 20 and the budgeted for 24 on the miscellaneous income both saying. to zero. Uh, we talked about zeroing out the estimated final. I have, year I have the budgeted zeroed out too because no, they don't budget, really budget is changed. Yeah, but you can't budget zero out the budget for fiscal year 23 because we don't. Or do you mean fiscal year 22? Fiscal year 24. Because Howard was saying that's the hat that goes around and money's collected but given to the bands. So we have no clue what came in or went out. Yeah, that which was is weird. But, uh, it's a little weird, but <laughs> I'm for full. Right. Okay. You know where there's a disconnect? Is that miscellaneous income 800 and donations? And yeah, if you look at the donations, it's budgeting 800, yet they're typically right. twice that. Right. It's fine. I'm fine with zeroing them both out. Well, I think uh, maybe they're applying, they're budgeting in two different places, but all the money is being applied in one line. I agree. So Let's zero out the miscellaneous. I think if you want to zero it out or make it something. A little more appropriate for miscellaneous would be like a hundred. No, zero it out. Get rid of it. I don't think they there's, even. There's nothing there. Okay. Yep. Yep. So both the year end and the proposed get zeroed. Yeah. And so to your point here, do we want to increase the down? Oh, it's up to yeah. eighteen hundred. No, I don't think we have to change. Well, we might want to. The uh, estimated final for <laughs> We're going to have to make changes there. If I heard Howard correctly, speak back goose egg. Yeah. We won't talk Whatever about they anything else. They, <laughs> <laughs> they collected no donations this year. Well, they just hand them out to the band. There's well, no, it's it's not much zero there's no train of yep. anything to follow. Yeah, but I don't know that that donation, but I think that donations might be something else. No, it's not that it's only one year they show actual. We right. should, if we're going to do donations, we should try to move away from cash. Nobody has cash anymore anyway. We should do Venmo or something to that effect where you scan a code, goes into an account that Rosemary can transfer funds from. But the thing is, they walk around with that bucket, put it in front of you, and people put cash in it. It's already okay. Fine. So I take that, get cash too. But... Well, what we don't want to do is raise taxes for what's being, you know, shown as if 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 they're if they're taking the money and handing it back to the band, it's, it all should be run through the town. Actually, I but, agree. Well, yeah. That's why Rosemary. Yeah, that's why Rosemary. 
Town is not that so. So yeah. what are we doing with the proper first line donations? Clearly in 22, they got $773. That's the only is that 800 for the fiscal estimated end of year um actual money we have? I thought it was zero. We have now it's zero. Yeah. We have somebody could make a donation. Uh, yeah, like it takes no, versus, don't stop their for but the but wouldn't but that, that be sponsors. under sponsor? That would be under sponsor. Yeah. Right. Let's zero out donations for the end of, for this year too. Yeah, yeah. and then I would not, raise sponsorship. It would raise sponsorship yeah. for the estimated year end. Yes. Yeah, I, I agree. Oh, for estimated year end. Yeah. yeah. Probably yes. at least 8,000. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Good. Eight? Yep. Okay. I've got eight for that. Zeroing out donations and miscellaneous. Um, and FY23 and FY24, I'm leaving unchanged except for zeroing out miscellaneous. Yep. Can we um, do that? That makes us revenue. Pretty big bump in their total budget. If we, if we, I guess I'm okay with the, with zeroing them out, but I'm wondering if we should circle back with Howard and ask him if that, if there's a reason he had eighteen hundred dollars in there. I'm really not comfortable with that. That's seventeen thousand. I just question too. Honestly. What do you mean 1700? I mean 1700, sorry, yeah. yeah you mean in 22? I mean in 22. All right, so we're going to zero out um, donations for FY estimated year end and the post? I think we should. Because <clears throat> chances are people aren't going to donate, they're going to spawn yeah. between now and July. Well, if they do get a donation, they could always right. consider it. Bumps them up in their money. Yeah, I say we don't budget that way, though. Okay. Unless our money that we don't know by already. Even so. There's only one year that's actually ever been. Yeah, I don't think we should. Yeah, let's zero it. Let's zero it out, too. And if there's a good reason to add it back in, we'll add it back in. But for now, let's. Assume. So I'm zeroing out donations for FY24. Yes, thanks. So that actually gets their proposed a little closer to yeah. last year's. I mean, even that. It's you know, deleting some numbers. I'm sad. <laughs> okay. All right. Can we move on? Yes, yeah, let's go. All right. All right. Going into general government, I provided some estimated numbers for animal control and health officers. Uh, I've pulled data that we have for uh, <coughs> EJ and Dean, and I'm working on uh, proposing for compensation on health care and animal control. Um, health officer, you mean animal control? Yeah. Yeah, for, for health officer and animal control. Um, I don't have anything in there right now, so those are pretty rough estimates. But uh, <laughs> I think we, we, uh, we routinely budget uh, around 4000 for animal control, and we usually underspend. Uh, so I think even with a modification to it, the animal control is reasonably well compensated. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not in, anticipating a big change there. Year to date, animal control we're almost we're just south of three thousand dollars, and we haven't uh, gone into uh, April first deadline to register the dog yet. We've already spent three thousand the first half. We think we'll only spend a thousand in the second half. I can update the. I can raise the year estimate. Um, 
I was going more on our our history. Yeah. But I guess what is leading this high expense? COVID. Anything? Well, people, more people having dogs. dogs. People, people. Or, yeah, that's true. Do you think to be the one to state the obvious, the dogs are leading us. <laughs> I mean, dog <laughs> for years we've always tried to get the constables to go out and chase down dogs that are not registered. <laughs> we think that uh, we have a very expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course, we like very good amount of money. No, um, Eric will do it at this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that um, there was no enforcement being done. So, People weren't even registering their dogs. And then when somebody gets bit, he has no record of the dog. So are you proposing to raise it or keep it at 4,000? No, it's no, raising the question. <clears throat> three quarters of it. And we still have 50% of the year yet. Yeah. It's hard to throw a rock to the ocean. Do you have a question about yeah. this? How much of this is supplies and tools kind of thing they have a separate line for there's other side line oh, this is just salary i got you sorry right yeah got it so okay. with the health officer uh raising that by 1500 you think that's i think that will still be within uh okay within that what uh, are you thinking about for pay structure <clears throat> uh the general form is i'm making it more closely aligned to what we do for animal control uh setting up a, a pay per incident you know a low amount for phone calls and things that don't result in any action a little bit more if you have to go out a little bit more if it is right, a full-on inspection and follow-up and yeah, I get that, yeah. Um, and is that in, in alignment with what the league recommends? The league uh, doesn't really, the league doesn't have a recommendation on how you should compensate the health officers. Okay. So, let's do it. What about us? Can you call somebody else? I, we could copy somebody else's. I mean, there, there's. I think for now, replicating animal control because a lot of times they're the same person makes sense and yeah. we'll try it <laughs> yeah and i'm i'm trying to get it along what is it are you lost estimated as a uh similar time commitment so that if it's something that's going to be you know if it's a full-on inspection that could result in a hearing and everything else that would be paid pretty similar to a complete dog bite investigation. Gotcha. Uh, okay, so you're thinking the four four thousand is about right. I think so. Okay. Um, to your point, Eric, do you think we should bump that four thousand up to maybe forty five hundred? Oh, you made that point. And missed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, with what the current year to date spending already is. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. Right there. Year end estimate plus next year budgeting number. I didn't miss your plan. So propose next year you want 4,500. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it for a poll. Five over here. Six. You want 4,500. Let's do it for a poll. I jumped with 45. All right, you got that, Brian. And then yep. for this year's estimate final, we'll do 45 as well. I've got, I'm changing for animal control. End of year estimate and FY24 proposed to 4,500. And also Beautiful. for health officer fiscal year 24 proposed. 4,000. 4,500. So they match. Oh, 4,500. If the, if the cost structure is going to be similar and we have the similar number of incidents, <laughs> in theory, yep. the spend would be similar. And we'll have a better idea when we get a new cost structure in place, but it'll be too late then. So, so you want you want forty five hundred under health officer too? Yes, please. Okay, I've got it for health officer too. Awesome. All right. Anything else on this page? We're going the wrong way. Yeah. We'll, we'll just we started out that way this year. Okay.
I see everything else on the page that we asked for updates is updated. Yep. Um, the auditor expense is up to 9,500. As discussed, you're gonna follow that up. I take it that's what the cost was that we agreed to. Yes. Um, reappraisal reserve fund. I see is in there for 13,000, which is what we had discussed. And I um, think we should have an asked for that. that if we have some estimated uh, cash on hand for the you know, end of the year. We are already certainly. Uh, we are on line 151. We're just covering the rest of this page because we still have another whole page to get to to get to a starting point where we left off last meeting. All right. One one quick comment on you got list use expense and you probably did this based on my comment about there's nothing in there for mileage. Um, you got a thousand bucks in there right now. Yep. Under the contracted list years contracted, it's twenty five thousand. I don't think it's going to cost us twenty five. So. If people wanted to roll the mileage into that 25 and eliminate the thousand here for mileage, I think that's reasonable, but you know, it's up to you. It's kind of like animal control. I think we leave it uh, with budgeting. And if we're wrong in the better route, we'll have to correct it next year. Okay. okay. But thank you for bringing that up. Any other questions on this page? The reappraisal on one um, is, is a question mark, though. Um, that's that's the thirteen thousand. That's the thirteen. Um, that is taking the full amount, um, and I, I guess I'm okay with that. But just understand that that full thirteen was being applied to the listers' expense. It was an offset. It was a revenue offset to the listers' expense. So right now we're we're going to put thirteen in the fund. We're raising that to put it in the fund, and we're also raising twenty-five to pay for the listing expense. Right. Are we good to go to the next page? You'll yep. see planning commission projects is reduced to a thousand. We had agreed with that. I'm not ready to go to the next page for the reappraisal fund for estimate and estimate for end of year is forty-seven thirty-seven four. Yep. Have we spent that? We yeah. haven't. That is part of our. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, That's the reserve. That's all I needed here. Yep. Yep. Got it. Okay. There's a meeting in the other room. Yeah. You can stay for this one. Yeah, you can stay here if you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready now or no? What if I said no? Then we can continue talking. Um, okay. Yep. Good. Okay. Okay. I'm not trying to steer under here, Brian. I'm just trying to. Nope. You're fine. Uh, the last thing I want to mention, I do have one more thing that I want to mention on this page. Uh, line 155 legal expenses. Uh, reducing that from 20000 because we should not be, we should have our contract negotiations settled. Uh, I think 18,000 is a small increase from the 16,000 that we were budgeting before we entered contract negotiations. Um, I think yeah, that's a guess. That. You know, if we. It always is. Even when you know, it's budgeted 16, the actual expense 21,000. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's a crapshoot on legal. Yeah, it, it's what happened oh, during boy, the year. That... The village. Storm dream. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Brian. All right. Planning Commission projects. That was changed to the $1,000 as requested. Uh, and then we put the <laughs> beautification. Hold on. Was that a read? Can you tell us what line? Yeah. Um, no, I hope so. 163. Yep. So the actual cost went up <laughs> it looks like. Okay, so I guess we're on 164. Yep. Yeah, 164. But that was donations. Donations. For the mural project, correct, Rosemary? Okay. And they had asked for the same budget as last year. Yes. Okay. What do you mean this? Wait, 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 wait. This was donations, meaning money in, money out. You're saying this is not donations. This is expense, not revenue. This is expense. The addition that they went over budgeted was donated. Okay, well, you didn't say that. Got it. They're, they're uh, 
the amount raised by taxes, <laughs> the tax money spent on beautification did not That's increase insane. and did not go over budget. Brian, you need to change that to your uh, to what? They got 40, in donations. So they have their full 3,000 left. That's good. So they, they actually have quite a bit right now. On... They spent quite a bit on So that just needs to be verified okay. and filled in properly. So we'll take a look at that again. This is the current number that we got from the uh, budget status report. Okay. So we'll keep an eye on that one, uh, and that will we'll know that has to be increased, even if the budget status report but the increase doesn't show money it. In, yeah. Right. Yeah. They're spending the money that they get. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But right now, it makes our it may just look like we have. Gotcha. greater surplus than we truly do um the next one that i have a note on is the okay so line 170 wood fired oven yep. um we had discussed it was at 500 and we discussed putting it to 1300 but now it's at 2700 but that is money in money out yeah. yes but yeah, it, no expense I mean, yeah, as long as the expense side matches the revenue, that's what's important. I'm okay with leaving it at 27, even though we had discussed 13 because they had consistently done 13 for a little while. No, it's because in 21 and 22, they had done 27. We had a note from last time saying make it net, and which is why we're 27, I assume. Yes, that's fair enough. 1300 year to date. You could safely probably double. I could probably increase that one to. Yeah. And they're going to make pieces to supply select more meetings, I think. Good luck. That's the plan. question in January. I hope. Next month. Um, 191. Is there Sorry. Uh, on the jumping up to 160. Yep. I feel like we've talked about tax uh, the tax maps. <laughs> Is there any? I think we bumped it up a little bit. I'm on 160. Yep. I'm just going backwards because we went too fast for me to think Welcome quickly. To Johnson. Oh my God! Stop it. The 3,000 is accurate for our current. Uh, the the price increase that we received this year okay so we should have 20 2850 for our estimated final yes, that's really what our six month was and then three thousand just bumps it up a little bit and that three thousand is expected to be sufficient yes do we think the year end is at 2850 is that a good figure rosemary or should it be higher than that i think it should be too so what are you thinking rosemary I would think of 4,000. For 2024? Because 2,500 is just our web based program. That doesn't account for any tax. Right. And we got slammed with some invoices we weren't expecting this year. So our proposed isn't enough either. No. So where should that go? 3,500? Will we be at least 4,000? 4,000. Well, we got hit with all the back to work this year. Is that why we're at four thousand? We do get back. We paid that last fiscal year. They've done very little since that. Everything okay. Get in the spring. <laughs> and if they've done very little, uh, that could mean a in your tax, twenty five hundred is just the it's annual the fee for the for the web based piece. It's not any any updates to the press and maps themselves at all. So you think for twenty twenty four we should be budgeting four thousand, or should we budget four? So four Deal. four. Yep. All right. 
It's rosemary as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks a well, lot. Yeah, um, it's somewhere near right. Okay. Okay. Uh, interest on loan payments. Uh, interest on loan payments is an okay. estimate right now. Um, I'm close enough. Well, that like, well, I can. Uh, interest on loan payments is 177. Okay. And Rosemary, does that look good to you too? To make sure. Yeah. That is painful. Both the year and the in the, in the, the post. post. I thought that the interest on loan payments was going to go up. You will go to the loan for the. We've got to run through a couple of proposed changes to the. So that's like potentially five thousand dollars. We don't wear the funds that we need from the capital uh, equipment reserve fund yet. That we're also funded. Yes. Yeah, we don't have anything that's not funded by the capital equipment reserve fund for loans. So we'll be back there. Uh, the 10 cents on the grand list is. And we don't, sorry, before we go back off the loan payments for one second, yep. the other thing is the Jewett property, we're done paying, yeah. so that's going to lower it. <clears throat> is there anything else that falls into a category that we should just have in our mind? Uh, the Jewett property is on line 179, so it doesn't it's lower that. The interest is also on line 179? Yep. Yeah, the yep. line's called interest for the industry. Oh, interest for, okay, I'm yeah, sorry. Okay, I see. Okay. Um, and yeah, we don't, we're not paying interest on anything other than highway equipment reserve eligible expenses. So the 11 that you've got in there now is just a placeholder? Just a placeholder. Because we have figured out the actual model. Why would we anticipate 10 cents on the grand list dropping? Although it's like the grand list drop. Yeah, the grand list drop. Oh, that's right. The village grand list dropped. The village, yes. Our grand list did not. Yeah. Uh, and that is a final number, so that yeah. doesn't need to be highlighted. Cool. Okay. Next. County <clears throat> tax. Uh, we have another. We got another update from them. Uh, this is the the last update they'll have until. Uh, they set the final number in the new year. Okay. So the, the year today, it's got to it's got to be changed or going to be changed. Can we change twenty twenty seven? Okay. Will that be the twenty six one twenty four? Do you think? No, it's going to be twenty twenty seven. We don't pay it once a year. It will be the twenty. So the estimated year end should go from twenty six to twenty three seven. Yeah. All right. That's going the right way. Yeah. yeah. It's funny how it bounces around up and down, down year to year to year. Well, it's based on census yeah. grand list and uh, stone can move a huge amount of stone. We're so small, but I mean, yeah. stone burps and we have. And the 25, 7, 23, you think is. That's the number they're providing us with, uh, but they also provide notice with that. that they don't have the launched grand list yet, so it will change at least one more time. Yeah. For the emergency management fund, I have this funding or reserve fund, right? We've only spent three hundred. We spent three hundred and two fifty two this year, and any the balance of that would go to a reserve fund, I assume. Yeah. Correct. Okay. The last seventy five year end main. Well, I it guess will be 75 no matter what. Be so and what goes the reserve will be 75 minus yeah. the yeah. 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 Okay. So why did it go after? Yeah, no worries. Sorry. No worries. Yeah. All right. It's not wood. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we pretend it is. We made the changes to Conservation Commission expense and reserve fund. Okay. And we updated the uh, tree boards request as well. 
That one I had a question on, but I think you just wanted to come back about that, Beth. Okay. What line item is uh, there? 194. They did give her some money? Yes. Good. Okay, good. For I think it's the trees on the main street. They gave her $787. Perfect. Because we had put in their proposed $2,787 and we asked for her to see if the village would fund that $787. Yeah, which means we should have 2,000, I believe. I'm in agreement. Everybody else? That matches your notes for next time, you mean? I remember or asking her, I remember asking if she would ask them for $500, but. That's what she asked for. Oh, wow. We should have gone last So we should change the FY24 proposed to 2,000 even. I like it. Oh, wait, wait. I've got it in my notes that I, to change it to 2000 and to check Sue's email uh, where she detailed, gave a little bit more about their budget details to make and sure we're not. The estimated year and the total the, from her email, reasonable? the total from her email was the 2787. Yeah. So I think if we should just leave it at two, but yeah, checking is fine. Yep. I didn't hear your question though. Uh, we think the 2500 for estimated year end is. A reasonable number for uh, actually that should raise by fifty eight dollars at a minimum. We're to date already over twenty five hundred. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Like we'd be still over twenty five hundred. Yeah, they're still working on their five thousand dollars grant they got. Off. You got a thought as to what mm -hmm. the year ends at the roadmap? Thirty-five hundred, <laughs> but it's money in, money out. Because some of that's grant. It's also, yeah, they got a five thousand dollars grant. And that is that also showing as anticipated revenue. I don't think that I have that one in. Uh, uh, we didn't talk about it. Give me a second. Back to even yet. Uh, five more lines. If we don't, well, what's under miscellaneous gravity? That's zero now. You can have your first. 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 You under it wasn't budgeted so it's estimated year and and all of that yes he did actually spent quite a bit of some of it was spent lots of fiscal years we haven't now received any income so we haven't been reimbursed for it so all of the all of the revenue will be in the current fiscal year so it should be FY23 estimated final five five thousand Everybody good with that? But we are only estimating the spend thirty five hundred of it. But some of it was spent last fiscal year. Okay. So should we reduce that from the? Well, I guess we. Yeah. My end. Well, if, if we spend the, the money. We, we spent some of the money last year, but we'll be reimbursed this year. <clears throat> so okay. some of it will go. Yep, got it. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's 194 is where we were. I wanted to circle back with them about their estimate for next year. Oh, we talked, okay. And did we think that was mostly minutes? Yeah. <laughs> you expect that to take Yes. 119 minutes. So why would we anticipate for year end they would spend the whole 3300? Did you ask them over? 
they do have some programming that they want to do uh, in the spring, uh, both on Martin Luther King Day and Juneteenth. I think we should circle back on that too, because I feel like when Jeff was talking about this, he was saying they weren't going to get that high this year. Yeah, I, I, I've got some follow up that I still need to do with them. Okay. So that's a question. Uh, I also made a pretty significant increase to our solid waste and landfill expense. Um, this is the testing on a couple sites. It is not getting cheaper. Um, you just approved a contract for that anyway. Yeah, pretty recently. And yeah. also includes the trash. It includes what? Trash, which is by Yeah. And that's just for the public works building? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, it's bad. Hmm. That's amazing. <laughs> Well, a, a large portion of that expense is landfill testing. Yeah, he's but Rosemary just said five hundred and fifty a month that's for crash. trash removal. That's seventy. That's seventy eight hundred dollars of twelve thousand. My God! I mean, I pay. Yeah, why is it so much? Is okay. that Casella or seventy six? No, I pay two hillside. Mine, isn't it? Mine. It's for a dumpster. Mm -hmm. Do we use the dumpster? Do we use? I know. I think it's is it a full load every time? It is. Yeah. Yeah. They bring their personal trash. Yeah. Yeah. You know. They do. Part of that. Oh, yeah. Bulk of those goes in there. It's not much, but I can drive by. Yeah. I just. I. I mean, I think I pay two sixty for a yard and a half for them every single week, and every other week a yard and a half of recycling. Is there's the three yard or five yard? It's pretty good size. And as Evan said, the, this, this was a, a debate years ago, but the the employees bring their personal trash. It's one of their one of their un, uh, unidentified. It's not un unidentified. <laughs> is, it, is it in the union that's, contract? That's not, get the, that's not part of the union contract. So we could probably get a smaller dumpster. My God. Dumpsters on the list. I don't know what we got to do for. Okay, adding it to our agenda for later. Yeah, we'll, we'll discuss. Oh, we'll check check the list on the side. Mm -hmm. Are we happy with the year end number on that? It seems low. If, it uh, does seem low. How many landfills are we testing? One, two. Well, well there's, there's the RC two area. environmental testing. Uh, there's the there's landfill up on Wilson Road, uh, but we also have testing done on the, uh, out near the garage uh, on the old telephone property. We shared that expense with the village. Okay. And we don't do any testing? What's it? I thought the state. The state cover is almost all the costs on that, but mm -hmm. it's not uncommon for us to end up with a little bit of a share. I think the state paid half, and then the other half is split between the county and the village. Yeah, what all expenses related to that property is split between the town and the village, uh, mostly used, covered by the state. Mm -hmm. We don't test it though. So. Oh, good idea. It's yeah. the village spring. Yeah, <laughs> and the Lamoille. All good things. All right, let's get back to the budget. Thank you, Matt. This is okay. So, what about the year end expense on that? Should we bump that up a little bit? You think? I, I think that we should bump that up to at least eleven thousand, uh, more like twelve thousand. For what? Sorry, for what? The estimated year end expense. Oh, and we already, already talked about that. We already, I already have it bumped up to twelve thousand. I do. So we're going to bump that up to twelve the year end. Twelve yep. even year end. Or estimated okay. estimated final twenty three is now twelve. Okay. Yes. And it's going to be 12 for next year for Okay. Um, yeah. sorry, but our estimate final for 23 is 8, you said? We're moving it to 12. 12. Okay, good. Thank you. 
that's what you said. No, I was talking about the fiscal year. The no, it looks like fine. Okay, next. Uh, town office expense. Um, we'll go over this right now. Rosemary and I had not had an opportunity to sit down together on this yet. So I expect to have a, uh, as wide as all yellow is, uh, I expect to have a few changes here. Rosemary, anything pop out at you as hold your hats? I don't think we can increase our paper. <laughs> it's impossible. Hmm. <laughs> uh, what's what's planned for small paper? Yeah, I mean the yeah. usage. <laughs> we got there a lot. <laughs> what's planned for the small equipment purchase? Um, we have to talk about that a little bit more for uh you know that Rosemary and I have talked about a couple plans for that, but it'll also be part of our discussion about how we're dealing with the surplus from the previous year. Um but we do have some there's a couple computers that need to be replaced relatively soon um and there's uh, are we trying to do that printer. i'd like to get a wide format scanner printer yeah i think that there needs to be some infrastructure upgrades yeah. on the network side uh, yes to be considered i understand computers and printers we may need to send a while since we replaced our computer servers. Yeah. Copier, get older. Not even close to covering that. Um, do you think next year it's going to go down and we're going to hit that 30,000 this year? Uh, the I mean, 30, you hit the 30,000 pretty easy. I think last year you increased that line so you would put more money into the year fund. Yeah. The, the intention from last year. <laughs> um, to roll more into the reserve. That's what yeah. funds our capital equipment. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? What is that at right now? What is that? Um, you know what the reserve fund is at right now? Like how much, how much money is in that reserve fund? Duncan's got it. Somewhere. What did they do it? Right there. Here it is. Uh, <laughs> buildings and grounds is right now at seventy two, but last year we had talked about your marking an additional 20 so i didn't know if that not building 70. grounds though capital equipment small equipment well built that's and that's the that's the reserve that fund, oddly enough that funds a reserve fund that's not named the same thing right very good you don't know this by now <laughs> i should know because better. whoever put these up was pretty smart so that's that's your year year. 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 Huh? Really? <laughs> so, uh, but I. Sorry, Donna, we're all over the place. The we'll stop for a So, wait, 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 stop. We're stopping. My thoughts. No, we're stopping for a minute. Stop in that. So, it looks to me, Rosemary's going to update this for us and with Brian for next meeting, but it looks to me like there's 92. 317 in yeah. which bond? The buildings and grants. And that doesn't include the the extra what's left over that we rolled in this year. No. Okay. So I think the 20. No, it does. Well, you mean the 20 right. that's the 20 yeah. that's in the budget? Well, to make 92, I think you'd have to I'm adding wait till the end of this fiscal this year. Fiscal year. And then roll whatever the remainder of the thirty thousand is into it. Well, these figures that are on this sheet, I'd like clarity on that yeah. from from you guys. But we, we'll get into it and and provide a, uh, an absolute so can, answer. Can for... we just put a note about follow up on that one? Yeah. I just want to make sure that maybe I was thinking we should budget maybe twenty five thousand. Given the cost of some of that infrastructure stuff, but we can note it. No, I'm not going to just note it because I want to say that if all we have in that reserve fund is 92,000, that's not a lot of money in the big scheme of things. And that reserve fund sounds like it's for more than just small equipment, it sounds like it's for a number of different line items. And I think we need to, like, when we talk about how we spend any reserve funds. We should understand what that applies to. So, and when I say we, I mean me. That reserve fund 
And that reserve fund doesn't actually apply to equipment at all. That's our buildings and grounds reserve fund. But what it does apply to is it's the way that buildings and grounds fund gets funded is from this line. And it's the difference between what we actually spend and we budget for. Correct. And that's to Eric's point, we've been trying to bump that up a little bit so that some goes into the reserve fund. Okay. So can we use the reserve fund for anything under town office expense? I I have to look for the phrasing, but I believe that the phrasing on it is for capital improvements. Um, would network capital. infrastructure be <clears throat> a okay? Capital you answered my question that you don't know the answer. Fine, we need to know the answer, and There's that would change. The year. It goes under that small equipment purchase. You'd actually yeah. just pay for it out of that line yeah. item. We have no reserve fund equipment in the office. Right. No. It was just out of operating costs. So when we had to buy a new printer with like 5000 or whatever, I think we bumped up this line item so we still had some role in it. All operating, not it. Okay. So all the, operating. I think that is buildings, equipment, grounds. It is buildings, equipment. Or it's buildings and grounds, but it could also be. Equipment. I think the sure. equipment is in there. I don't think we ever used it in that. Way okay, because we following up. It out. So who's going to take that action? You'll take it, Ryan. I'll take it. Okay. Would like, um, so because a lot of these are going to be updated, are we just asking questions on monthly questions or? Yeah, if you have a big question, if everything else is going to be updated. So are we going to flag those two numbers? Yes. 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 Um, Election expenses, is that going down because we don't foresee? There's no general election this year. Is no. the $2,000 enough? Here? That one's cheap. Well, FY24 would take into account primary, presidential primary. Yeah, no. Typically, that would bump us up a little bit for expense. And that that'll be it. The state covers yeah. a lot of it. Okay. <clears throat> I guess more concerning to me is year to date we've spent something less than a thousand dollars on elections. Yeah, um, we don't need. <laughs> so what would our? I mean, the only thing we have left in the meeting. town meeting. What do you think a good number would be for year to, for uh, fifteen hundred? Fifteen hundred. So are we going up or down? Down. Yeah. Last year when we printed the materials, I think they were a little higher than we thought they were going to be, if I remember correctly. Like this one thing is popping in my head. I don't remember anything anymore. But I feel like they were like twelve hundred. I wonder if we should bump it up just a little bit. For what? Let's put it at seventeen instead of fifteen for it's our just photos. Who yeah. pays for the Australian ballots for the school one? School, school, school office does, even though um, we have people the there. And but we, we, oh, the, the um, town report is not part of this. No. no. The second one. This expense is just being Jenkins. Oh, and that sort of thing. Oh. The tabulator, if we need to use it. I'm confused, Nathan. Okay, never mind. Oh, my God. All right. Are you generally comfortable with the numbers in there, Osbury? Uh, Brian, is the computer support one in line with our contract? It is. Uh, okay. It does not account for. Uh, any anticipate any changes to our web services contract? Yeah. Ooh. Along that line, how come I don't see a, an expense for internet? For what? Under under office. Internet, I can use whatever. Oh. What yeah. line is Fair that? Enough. It's in line with our contract. Yeah. I'm happy with that. that. What line is that? Oh. Yeah, which what not line number is that? Office supplies, okay. Um, not office supplies, 
Are we moving on? It is it's Comcast, right? Is yeah. it still Comcast? But it would be it would come to Comcast, not consolidated probably. Yeah. Comcast. Comcast. Are we moving on to buildings and grounds? Or not? Um I guess the one thing I'll mention on professional training isn't really I'm not anticipating any changes there. Um, but I think that we're more I hope we're more likely to hit our four thousand this year. I'm going to at least personally ask for the national conference for my professional association. Uh when I went in the past, the town had not paid my full way, but we shared the cost. Uh, and I'm going to ask for that again. So beyond you, there's a lot of other people that should get professional training too. Yep. Before we go, uh, I, before we go too far, records preservation. We've got a budget of seventy five hundred. We're not showing. I don't think we're showing any revenue in from. The records preservation reserve fund. What do you think, Rosemary? Would it be reasonable to bring in a little bit of money yes. from there? Because there's records preservation fund currently at about twenty thousand five seventy dollars in it. What would you think would be a reasonable number to bring in as revenue? Would it be an equal offset to the expense? You're saying bring in the 7,500 from the reserve fund? From the reserve fund, so that would shift his revenue. How is that? There is a couple of landmark records. So is the 7,500 enough? Yeah. But you're just proposing bringing in from the reserve fund? I'm proposing offsetting the expense with the with income from the uh, restricted fund. I wonder if um, we should offset half of it rather than all of it. That way we continue to build the reserve fund and show it as it doesn't zero out because we're just going to deplete the reserve fund if we do that year over year, in theory. At some point, we're going to need new shelving because we only got four or five slots left. Yeah. I think we should only do that. But we're also you bring in a, into the dollar a page for records preservation. How much? How much is this in your? Don't you bring in yeah. some money? $4. How much? Four dollars a page. Um, so some of that revenue that comes in should be hitting the the records preservation reserve fund. That's that's the question I was asking. How's that reserve fund funded? Through the recordings. Okay. The town gets fifteen dollars paid. Eleven goes to the town, and four dollars. And none goes to the village. No. They don't have any records. Okay. Next. Well, so what are we, what are we coming in for revenue? We're going to do best proposal. Let's do half of it. Let's keep some of it. We've had it. That's a consistent expense. Let's do, um, well, half of so it, thirty five hundred. That comes in on one forty eight. Oops. Three thousand seven hundred fifty. Uh, it is line forty eight. Yeah. Thirty five hundred line forty eight. Are we doing 3,500 or are we doing uh, 3,750? Okay. Do we want to plan for any for next year? Oh, that, that was what I was thinking. We were I was thinking for next year, not this year. Yeah. Next year, okay. I have it in the budget, proposed budget for 24. Okay, yeah. that's what I was. Yeah. Then and that's what I was comfortable with setting with making it an equal, you know, an actual expense. But I think I was the only one who was misunderstanding that. Um, and yes, uh, professional training. I uh, we are encouraging all of our people to to take advantage of it. What money was that? Two eleven. 
starting on the next day. All right. Good job. <laughs> okay, next. Buildings and grounds. I uh, made adjustments to the Holcomb House utilities. Estimated year ends are all over the place. <clears throat> Excuse me. For the estimated year ends, you know, for some of them, we're we can definitely we can definitely re revisit all of those for a bulk of house. Yeah. Well, like electricity to date, we've spent six hundred and fifty-six dollars. I would just be doubling that, so it should be in the thirteen hundred thing. Yeah. Last meeting for electricity, we landed on two thousand dollars for fiscal year twenty four. And if you look at what um, historically, it's been more than double that. Yeah. But don't forget but everything; all three units go into that use one use meter. So we got the tenants upstairs. The date we we've only spent. Okay. Oh, but you're right. We're going into the winter month. Yeah, but and, and we should need to revisit next they, year's so get historical budget. society estimates, but I think it's pretty clear that it's not going to be. I wouldn't use it. It's not going to be five hundred. Yeah, yeah wouldn't use. And you've got to know next to propane, heat propane. Yep. Six hundred and fifty gallons at one sixty one and ten fifty at four fifty. Yes. The the total usage on the propane for the building. Is under six fifty total gallons. So last time we talked about propane being at seven thousand seven hundred ninety seven dollars. And I have an email from Eric that says the total propane average usage over the three years was six hundred thirty four gallons. I think we I think we did the actual calculations in our last meeting. And it came up, that's where the $7,797 came from. Yeah. It was the number of gallons times our cost that we just signed contracts with. We didn't sign a contract with the propane. Oh, the village did, but the village told us. Yeah, so I'm talking propane, not oil. There's two lines. There's two lines here. What do you mean? There, there's Holcomb House heat and oh. there's Holcomb House heat propane. Where's the whole house? E. Uh, right above it. It just, it just said heat. It yeah, just says heat. Yeah, it does that's it. Well, that's not Holcomb House heat. That's yeah. like this building. So Holcomb House is only heat with propane. No, oh, heat it's and propane. It's heat oh, heat and, and propane. Okay, yes. I'm sorry. So, so 650 plus 1050. Okay. In the 161, is that, do we know what that? Was that the last bill? That was the last bill. Yeah. Last course bill? Uh, I think it was the... They decided not to do... They're staying with the course. They're staying with the course? Uh, okay. So that 161 might be booked? Very close. We'll take the last bill we got. Okay. No bill yesterday in the dollar. Okay. The heat for here, we really think it's going to go up that much and even if rack prices doubled we're almost carrying a triple proposed on two 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 i can double check my calculations that how i write there but I'm looking at like you know 22 and it 21 says 700 gallons at a dollar 61 and 1800 gallons at 450. What's the 1800 gallons? What? Uh, 450. Is that, or it's 450. But is that you, heat? just just propane here? Yeah. So there shouldn't be doesn't isn't the heat covered under the highway? And Separately? This also covers um, Mill House. This line item does? Yeah, that's, that's okay. Yeah, so. so that's that's the 1800. Yeah, maybe. 
I'll double check it at how I arrived at the 1800 gallons. Make sure I didn't double count something, you know, from the library. Yeah. That's also probably something that's contributing to it being so high. That might be exactly why it's. So follow up on that if you can, yeah. Brian. I will. Yeah, I'm hoping that we're paying less than 450 chair. Can we just go down the whole line? Because I'm just going to read down the things we talked about last time. Yep. Line 217, no change. So 4,900. Um, line 218, 2,000. Or what? For Hulk of House Electricity. That was our priorities last time we met. We can't be at 2,000. I mean, they were promising a 60% reduction in that alone. It's, so, well, our actual from last last year was 1,800. I'm sure that's why. The sheet that we were. That would have been would be 10 of state. Right. Right. It should be something less than that. Okay, well, the year before it was 1655. The year before that is 14. But that all included the occupancy of the second floor. The maximum. Electricity was included. Okay. It's all one of the. They were doing it on a reduction of 60%, so it should be $800. And the bill is probably going to go for a reading next year. Put a negative 1,000. We'll put 1,000. Okay, fine. So also last time, so last time. So we're going to put a thousand instead of uh, Holcomb House water sewer, 800. No, where's the? That's line 221. It has to be a 60%. I mean, we should budget appropriately. It should be a 60% reduction in $950. Well, 950 is just a budget. It's not an actual. So it should be 60% of 659 then. If that's the logic you're using. Yeah, that's fine. I'm saying. Well, we, we need to use that same logic for electricity and heat then. And the year end should also be reduced to maybe 600 instead of 950. Where are you? So hold on. Okay, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait one second. Okay. For Holcomb House Water Sewer, fiscal year 24, if we say that year end fiscal year 23, sorry, 22 was $659, 60% of that is $390, so $400. Is that what we want to budget for fiscal year 24? Yes, that's fine. 400, fine. The full move. Yep. That is not adding right. Why? Because we already spent because, 450. He's already spent $300. And 237. Year to date, 295. Oh, okay. Maybe something's running by. We've spent two, 295, and this is without the tenants year to date. We, we should be. So we should do 600 then. So why are we spending the same amount in 23 as we did in 22 when we don't have tenants upstairs? Because the majority of the bill is probably the connection fee. Am I wrong about that? Maybe the tenants have a good job. Rosemary answered about the point. Yeah. Or flush the toilet. <laughs> Well, Donnie's apartment is on that. The Historical Society is on that, and the, you know, and when you say sixty percent, that that was that was a guess. But I mean, was, we should, see but we shouldn't that. like hold. So let's move it. A so that, that was an that. educated number. I mean, based on reduced usage, it was kind of sold to the select board that way. Yeah. So I don't see a problem well, I think with it budgeting look. on how it was presented to us. That would be being accurate but something is not adding up because fy22 the tenants were upstairs and water and sewer was 659 dollars that's with the tenant now with fy23 there is no tenant and to date half the year we've already spent 295 dollars. i understand what you're saying i don't know why that is other than is well, there you, is there a minimum fee or rosemary or something there, Minimum service fee for both water and 
That's probably why. Because if you use one gallon or a thousand gallons. But it's relatively, I mean, the usage is. How much is the service fee? Do you know? Okay, let's round up. Let's say 450 for fiscal year 24. We're taking the 60%, just bumping it up a little bit. And we're not going to be right anyway. So we are. All right, so what are we putting in? 450. For, for a year end or proposed? Proposed. Okay. And what are we putting in for a year end? Same. No. No, you think we need to double it? Yeah. Well, um, you got to double the 295 because that's the year to date. No, we're not quite a year to date. Okay, fair enough. Let's put 500 for both. Doubling it is 500. 500 for both? Yep. Okay, and then Brian's going to check on the propayment and heat costs. Yeah, and why that triple for here? Oh, it's sorry. not just okay. here, but why it triples for line two twenty two? Why it was bumped up here? What is the problem there? And also looking at two twenty three, just to confirm that the math adds up because I have seven seventy. I have almost 7,800 essentially for that line for the Holcomb house heat and propane. Now, to your <laughs> point, if we take 60% of that. Yeah. No, they were only, we're estimating a 30% reduction in heat costs. 30%, okay. So equals 7,800 times 70. Oops. <laughs> 0. 0.7. 0. 0.7. <laughs> Close. <laughs> so it's 5460. For year end? For fiscal year 24. So 50. And it's pretty close to the final for year end, too. So 5400. Yeah. So we want to year end and proposed. It already was in for year end. I was just saying, yeah. like, a change proposed. Right. Propose at 5771. Ah, 5400. We'll do 5400 because it's a fraction of that, seven, the, that 700. So we're going to change the 5771 to 5400? Yes. Yep. yep. And then lastly, <laughs> well, maybe not lastly, one of the things we talked about last time also was the building grounds and maintenance being 600. That's line 229, but it highlighted, so I'm going to it out. Looks fine here. Can you back up one? Yep. There are two. Yeah. The cemetery maintenance, the date we spent $184. We did the full $6,000. July 3rd. That's grounds moment. Wait, cemetery maintenance first. Sure. Uh, our experience with that one has generally been that we can spend as much as we allocate to it. Yeah, we can. There was a discussion earlier this year about possibly increasing that so that way we, we could put a fence around rural cemetery this year. Mm -hmm. and I think we should still think about that. We even you know. budgeted at 6000 and used the balance for uh, the fence. Uh, can we carry? Yeah. Can we carry the balance over? Well, we could spend specifically it. for that line item. We could spend half of it, the fencing cost this year, and half next year. Yeah, on that they were Sometimes. budgeted for. Um, yeah, uh, I don't remember. It was right around ten thousand. Yeah, I was thinking it was ten. Yeah, and that just understand that that doesn't do anything for any of the stones. No, it doesn't. But broken stones, stones on the ground. I guess my point is. To date, we spent $185. Yes. We probably would not hit 6000 by July 1st. We could very easily if we put up a fence. Yeah, putting up a fence would do it. Right. If we put a fence, <laughs> just still regular stone work. Right. We'll find $184. We'll, I'm not going to do any because I'm not doing any. But but we never did put, that never got put out to bed, did it? 
actually. It got posted and we got no response and we didn't. Lydia Bordeaux. What I find interesting is the $185. Right? I mean, the actual for 22 is was $13.99. That 189 was probably expense that I incurred to repair the stone. But we must have mowed up in the cemetery. The next one, next the next line line item. separate separate line item. Oh, this is strictly made. You guys agreed to pay for some of the uh, costs of repairing a couple stones and fly. Yep. Donate all labor to six. I believe you did wet yeah. and forget twice up there too. What's that? You did wet and forget twice up there. I did. Yeah. So that 189 probably includes the wet and forget and. The epoxy and the stainless steel nuts and bolts, et cetera. Is there a lot of people out there? I know of one person. So, and she's like, she's young. <laughs> so grounds <laughs> that's a separate point. Uh, no, no, cemetery mowing is cemetery mowing. Grounds mowing is eight hundred dollars for mowing something. Mm -hmm. Grounds yes, they mow the ground. Mm -hmm. Is she the it's person that had my hair mowing? But I assume it's a lady. Maybe, maybe yeah. but show her bleach and fear. That's a lot of different line items from I don't think she does repair stuff. She she we allow village people yes, in I think she does brush cleaning. That's the village pay for animation. The village will pay for animation. Uh man, that's a lot. Cemetery. Cemetery. Oh, no, 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 no. But we let them be buried in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's move on. I missed the joke, but it sounds funny. I'll ask you. There are only two people. Yeah. Okay. Janitorial services we're over budgeting for consistently. Why? We can bring it down further. A lot. Is that Is real? it only for this building? And we probably only pay half? And the li library part is put in library. Um, is it really, what are we at for the year? 1100. Multiply that by two. 1900. No, I think we could reduce it to 3000. I believe that some of this yeah. is. I'm comfortable with 3,000. Let's just go. Can we do that for both year end and? Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay. Yeah, we have a, a pretty consistent wish of getting, doing some work on the floors here and cleaning the carpets downstairs. Uh, both of those require probably a larger investment than just the $2,000. So. All right. Um, cemetery mowing. That's. Fine. I'm happy with it. Everybody else happy with it? Dr. Holcomb House grounds maintenance. Is that mowing? Building maintenance or grounds maintenance? Grounds maintenance. Grounds. It's basically mowing. Yeah. Okay. Building supplies for this building or somewhere. Supplies and maintenance, capital expense. We talked about a little bit. What is the 4,500? Upgrades for the garage. Forty-five thousand. Five thousand. I mean, why do we have that? Do we have that twice, or is that what we talked about earlier? That's what we talked about earlier. Okay. Um, we kind of previewed this, but now we arrived at it. Okay. Holcomb House building supplies, five hundred. Um, Doctor Holcomb House building maintenance. We're going from three thousand to fifteen thousand. Sorry. Wait. Before we move the building. Holcomb House building supplies has 500 budgeted consistently and nothing spent consistently. So we'll zero out the year end and keep the 500 in the proposed budget. I'm comfortable with that. I'm guessing you could probably reduce that. I mean, they pretty consistently, like, you know, the historical society, if they have something that they need to get, they pretty much. So we're going to zero it out then. We haven't spent anything in it. I'll just zero it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that would be that would be an expense that the select board might apply to something else. So I think about it zero. 
Yep, done. Yep, done. Are you getting both? Yep. Okay, um, building maintenance. Is there some house? big project? Yeah, it says I, roof and porch repairs. I don't think we can do that. They're having, they were having issues with leaking, and yeah. we have to come in and do a temporary fix. Um, even to do a temporary fix, we didn't have, we haven't had anyone. Well, we had somebody come in to fix the leak, but that was just a temporary <laughs> patch. But it needs I, major. Yeah, it needs major work. Now, given this is the front porch roof. Uh, this is this the, is the exactly. roof repairs that I was talking about, or that I was thinking of, are on the close to the entrance <laughs> for the historical society. Uh, kind of the the where the front apartment comes back onto the older part of the building. So the, the roof from the front kind of comes down and we've got another roof here. In that area is where we've had leaking before. That area, are you talking just where it's the single story over the porch? Single story over the rear porch where the entrance of the historical society is. It's the section it's that between wall that the we main house and Larry's apartment, that sort of single okay. sloping roof that comes down, covering the handicap ramp. But that, and that is, I propose we keep $3,000 on this item and put it towards that project. Um, but that area specifically comes <laughs> up. Only use to the historic society, and the agreement with the town and the historic society is that they will maintain what they occupy. And I'm paraphrasing a little bit. You are quite a bit. You could, we could look it up and read it, but uh, there is an agreement that the historic society has and will maintain portions of the building. That the they, inside, inside, to not I don't, I've never read the word inside. It was in that minor, agreement. Minor. You were there for it, but it wasn't written in the agreement. But um, building structure, I'm pretty sure there's something written in there about the integrity of the building. Like the roof is something that count. This roof goes over everything. But I mean, we could pump, pull out that contract. We could certainly look at it. I think that that line item should say at three thousand dollars if we can get a repair for three thousand. Well, I think the problem we had is we put it out for a bit and we got nobody even driven on. So why are we carrying? $3, well, did, we, we, did we put it out for a bit? bit? We didn't put it out for a bit. We, we didn't, didn't get we anybody. Didn't we tried to get some people. Yeah, we, we yeah. called a lot of people asking them to come in. If I remember correctly, Jill LaHoulier gave us an estimate. Yep. But he was not. He was not willing he would to do, do the work. work. He was. He came in and provided an estimate of what he might charge if it were him. Yeah. And I think his estimate was around fifteen grand just to fix that. But I don't, I don't remember for sure. It's been a while. But there's also a problem with the front porch roof, which is fairly significant. And if it doesn't get fixed, it's going to cause further rot and cost more. You know, cause more expense. Um, we have talked several times in ARPA discussions about how there will be ARPA money for buildings. I don't know if that's really been looked into much, but maybe that would be a better fit. Um, when you budget something here as a placeholder, of course, this, this is eligible for bringing money in from that reserve too, because that reserve fund is made for us, any programs and clean. But if Jill gave an estimate of 15,000, and that was pre-COVID, you could probably double that number now. Ah, yeah. oh, the pacemaker. <laughs> oh, you got my burn yet? Stabbed in my heart. <laughs> I'm serious. The contractors have gone out of the roof. With yeah. the repair of or disrepair of all of our other buildings. I don't see how we can afford this one.
there's several several requests coming from the library, public works, this building, the mill house was discussed earlier, which is a joint building. I get it. Should prioritize all of our buildings. We should have a maintenance plan. I think we should put something in. I mean, we should have a maintenance person. We could go to four thousand. That would be an increase. And they could use it as matching funds to get a grant. Uh, let's make this one red. Let's make it yellow and red. Let's split the difference. Let's put, well, I'm going to split the difference in the low end. Let's put 7,000 for the moment. We're going to come back to it. Let's see where we land with everything else. So make it bold, red, whatever you got to do. All right. Well, I you know, it's one of those things you're, you're either going to do it or not. We're not going to agree right now. And I think we should see where our budget lands. The reality is we're not going to over here now. Let's see where our budget lands, talk about what we have, we need to reconsider. This is one of those items. And let's keep moving. Um, <clears throat> so light industrial park. Yep, those are loan payments. So we'll hit that number more or less exactly. Uh, and we have, well, we will we will finish paying for it in April, so we won't have any expenses for this line item next year. On the clock, are we actually going to have, again, this is another one where we budget and we don't spend. It's another one where we have not found a qualified individual to do clock repairs. That's probably a conversation piece with, was it you, Duncan, or somebody who had said that potentially a digital one could be put in? Um, or something. Mark might know more about the mechanics of it. I, I, I have seen a very similar clock set up in the town of Concord, New Hampshire, city of Concord, New Hampshire. It's outside. It's in a you know it's in a little tower building. At one at one point, I was thinking it might be a fantastic piece to put in the foyer of the this building, and then put a digital clock. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're not going to put a digital clock up there. Well, it looks the yeah, same way out. Why not? I you you're talking about you're not talking about a digital clock like we all think of a digital clock numbers. Like the digital, digital clock on that's, here. That's not a digital clock. That's, that's a digital, digital clock. clock. Well, no, not not yeah. I mean, it's it's digital electric, digital. an electric clock. Yeah, yeah. With a face and what's happening to that clock is <laughs> the building has moved so much. I, I I went up there a couple of weeks ago and wound it just for shits and giggles. That if they actually fix the building, the clock had run, <clears throat> but the clock runs for less than 24 hours, and then the box you know, it's run by a box of rocks that goes down through one of the front columns. And the building has moved enough that that you can't get the box doesn't travel down the column, the, the column isn't plumb anymore, so the, the uh, box is dragging so, and losing time. So, if they actually fix the, the building. I would like to keep that line item. They're not. That's a long to... story that I'm a little bit passionate about, I guess. Like, <laughs> That's I a good reason stuff. to keep a budget that, that we never spend. I, I do want to go up there sometime. Yeah. I will too. Um, but anyway, okay, we've literally never spent the money. And is two thousand dollars carried over the year over year gonna actually change? Maybe it'll be enough for Mark to buy us all all and fix the problem. <laughs> Yeah. So I can fix it. There'll just be a box coming down from the upper yeah. story, hanging between <laughs> the columns. Can you can make work. a smaller box, <laughs> but the weight is really important. Is it fixable without re without realigning the big building? The 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 masons say they're going to do the work this year. They're going to pour a new slab in the front and fix it. I think we should put a put. Let's and besides, when I was actually, are we going to put? Okay, if they do that and it is plumb again, is there actually any work to do? Yes, the winding. Other it's, than winding, you have it? to pay the winding. It's the winding week. Yeah. Which, okay, which was which is the intent of the final piece of it. Fine. Okay, moving so, on. So we'll put that, cut that in half. Just put it to a thousand bucks. Fine. All right, deal. Both of them, year end and proposed. Yeah. Well, year end should probably be. Zero. Have, have we done that? <laughs> Zero. We're good. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. <laughs> okay, next. Uh, animal control. 
expenses. This is other stuff, not yep. people. Fine. Emergency uh, medical service. Have we heard from? We have. This is the uh, final number for Perfect. EMS and fire. Is Scott and fire. Come to a the 99.811 is what they're proposing? Uh, I got the number today, so it's the number that's in the print copy. 97, 9, 10, what and 77. Uh, we're in uh, 246. 240 range. Oh, 246. Okay. I was up to 243. 243, and then we jumped. So, yeah. So that represents a 3% increase? Yes. And the village is being increased by 3%. Really? Really? Yep. Okay. They're probably going to reject it. Is, is <laughs> Belvedere and Waterville also increasing? By they are. It is a 3% across the board increase yeah, this year. Good. Yeah. Okay, for the law enforcement for patrol, um, the reason that, Brian, I didn't answer you is because I have been talking with Wolcott regularly at this point trying to talk with Hyde Park. I have got a little bit of conversation with Hyde Park. Zero detail. I have no idea what they've been talking about. Um, Woolcote passed a 5% increase for this year only because they want to reassess each year. You mean they put it in their budget as 5%? They, um, yes, they put it in their budget as 5% and it sounds like they like agreed and maybe even had a motion to to go that way. I don't know. But anyway, they settled on 5%. Um, today, uh, Brian and I heard from the Sheriff's Department that Roger is proposing 6% for two years locked. I don't know how that disrupts anyone. I think we could, could still say we want 5% because he's opening <laughs> another meeting. Um, I would be inclined to match Wilkett if we could. So, but, 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 that was for yeah, patrol communications for dispatch was up in the air, right? Yeah, and it's still yeah, heard anything. And that'll be up in the air until, until the, January. Yeah, we have to make our best year. guesstimate until that. what? Until the new January. year, because he does that on grand list and population and census. Yeah. Or the, so this seventy six five twenty eight is in that five percent. Isn't it 5%? Yes. I, I think 5%. I, I if think we just we do that. Okay. Well, at the end of the day, the three towns are agree. That's reasonable budgeting. <laughs> yeah, budget for five. And... Yeah, okay. Budgeting for five. Placeholder. And then for the um, dispatch, we should just do the same. Yep. Yeah. yeah do we think 5% is reasonable? So. Well, it's those grand list one way up. And I that think that down. Hyde Park, I think that Hyde Park <laughs> population went up a little bit. Well, no, I it think it did. So compared to ours. Yeah, I think 5% is yeah. a little generous. So it sounds like we're good on public safety? Yep. Yep. Library. Library has a couple of open questions that I they need some assistance with that I should be able to help them with over the next so couple of days. Should we come back on Monday about the library? I think so. Would it be more comfortable? Right. Right. If, yeah, unless there's right. anything you want me to ask them for Monday. They were going to cut both salary increase. Right? Yeah, they are. They did. And that's done. Right. It's done. And their overall increase, are they still at 11%? Yeah, 6.7. <laughs> right now it has uh yeah, 6.7% increase overall. Okay. Next, skipping library. Recreation. Uh, I don't think we really got the expense side of recreation last time. This is the third line where rec coordinator salary could be. Yeah, so we didn't, we didn't figure that out. Did, do we want to bring that out of 
We never answered that question up above. Right now, it's un, uh, in under general admin. It is. Everything's under one. Yeah. Right. And there's there is a line item up in the up in that area, and there's one here. I'd rather see it here. Rosemary, what do you think? You don't you don't think that all salaries should be in one category? That's right. You want to put the library salaries in that same category? Then we don't really need it in their budget or funding. 95% of it. I'm perfectly fine with having I do social so security and all of those benefit kinds of things up under one, but I don't I just don't think it's that hard to break out. We I, if we it. don't break it out, we ought to be able to tell people what the salary is. For me, it's about like how are we going to talk about this? Are we going to talk about when we talk about benefits, salary increases, all of that stuff? Are we going to talk about all of the people that work for the town, you know, bargaining unit aside, all the people that work for the town the same way? And if so, we're talking about Brian, we're talking about Lydia, library, rec, we're talking about all of those things. And if we're talking about all of those things in one foul swoop, and we have oversight, maybe it should be in a combined salary and benefits. If it's something where we need the town to approve something very specifically in our budget, or we have an article specifically about a position, we should be separate. And I think that's re the reason it was separate is because the rec coordinator, coordinator was a article at one point. Mm. And it, it was, I know that it was. I, was well, I know it was too. I'm not, I'm not arguing that it was. I'm yeah. arguing that, for example, there was a separate line item when we had a community economic development coordinator that had its own separate line budget item. Budget line item. Yes, as a salary under under budgets. Um, and it's, it's still in up under that section as recreation coordinator. I don't, I don't care where it is. Uh, my thought is for transparency purposes, I think it's better to, you know, have it separated out. To me, the office staff is one thing. You know, rec coordinator to me is it's more of a, you know, it's it's more of a separate committee and a separate function. But I don't, I, I guess I don't really care. Do we, do we do this? I mean, I know in sometimes you can just go look at each person's total expense. You know, every highway person, every rec person. Do we blend it together just to have that not be out there so much? So because you know, then they could say, "Oh, Dean is making this much." And we don't. Do we, show do we care about that? We don't show that level of detail. It's public information. If but you want to know, you can ask. If we have it in the line here: rec coordinator salary. People are going to say, "Oh, that's what the rec coordinator makes." Oh, that's what he's. And not that I'm just asking you folks, do you care one way or the other? Should it be public? Should everybody's salary be public? And their benefits in what company? They're public employees. I think they should. It's public information. We can look at, I mean, we can look at like job descriptions for the state. We can look at the pay range. I, I just, I'm asking in general. You can look at any employee in the state. But uh, I mean, I guess I'm, that's going to create a lot of hardship. It doesn't have to be in this line item. I think for you know, if it's not going to be, I would recommend. I mean, we haven't had three years. In FY twenty two, we had eleven hundred dollars. I was going to say we could have we could remove it if if we don't want it. Couldn't now. I don't think we can now because eleven. No, it'll be another few years. Every FY twenty two is showing eleven hundred dollars. I don't know why that's. Yeah, we had a camp. And they paid some. We're not going to get rid of that line anyway, actually, because as soon as we have a gymnastics instructor, or as soon as we have anyone that falls into a well, this program is specifically rec coordinator salary. So you could do recreation salary. You could change and right. Like that. Yeah. Recreation salaries or salary expense for recreation. Yeah. Well, specifically, I right? Court name name salary. Salary. If you go back to General's Boom, we have recreation salary. Yes, we do. Yeah. Okay. 
as, as we do, I think it's in CEDC. Yeah. So we beat this course for the moment. Right now we need to keep moving. And I think we're not separating it out. I think I hear. I, I don't care. I agree. Deal. Yeah. Okay. We can talk about it again later. We're not on the board anymore. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's skate play. park. Uh, we've made one change for that one. We're we're reducing uh, site and site capital improvements um, by five thousand. Uh, then we get into the historical society expense side. So uh, before we jump off, what did we, we um, I'm, all, I'm only looking at this because I got these highlighted in blue, which are my, so we, we changed the F by 23 on line 111. We reduced it. Three hundred. Yeah, we yep. we reduced that to twenty two. Yeah, we did, and of that sixteen five is from line ninety seven. Yeah, <laughs> and then the FY twenty four proposed is the seventeen two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that. So we talked about when we were talking about revenue. Because it included before it included some of the grant money that we just out because it was <laughs> but that 172 includes ten thousand from the reserve fund. Yes. yes. Well, like Seventeen two. Well, well, not in the proposed. Oh, no. yeah. I'm talking twenty-four. Yeah, yeah, I think that you're right that that seventeen yeah. two is problematic. I want to review yeah, that. 20, the 22 mm -hmm. would be 10 coming up from Missouri. That's what I thought. Right. That's why I was a little confused. Yeah. Yeah. The 17 2 looks big. You're going to follow up on that, Brian? Yep. All right, perfect. All right, now we're in this sort of society bag. Okay. Oh, good. All right. <laughs> uh, administration. Any reason for doubling there? No idea. I don't know why the phone would be going up two hundred dollars, but I'm confused about a whole bunch of these because we don't have actual from the six months for the majority of them. Yeah, we have estimates for final that match budget. So I'm just curious, like for administration, are we actually going to spend five thousand five hundred and supplies and wastage? I believe it is. We can double check to make sure that everything matches and that it wasn't just. Okay, yeah, if you can confirm the estimates for the year yep. and where there isn't any money spent at all, just question it, or if the money spent is significantly more, which is for every single line, actually, uh, that would be great. Okay. Use your postage. Should we move money around? Okay, well, I'll take on highlight that and then. Okay. And they get they get supplies from the office, like paper and stuff like that. Right? The student. And then the same question will be for the proposed fiscal year 24. If they've not spent anything year to date, what is the justification of the, and we don't anticipate spending this year, what's the justification for those, you know, I will offer a thought that I mentioned to Evan about about their budget. Um, it used to be that the difference between the revenue and the expense went into they would make an annual request 
They'll just select for it to roll that over to their <clears throat> reserve fund. Walter made an issue of it a few years ago. Um, and I think the general consensus, I'm not on a historical society board anymore. I'm not speaking for them, but I have heard it said at meetings that um, they're going to do the darndest, their darndest to actually spend everything on the expense side. I actually feel like it's wrong to bring the money from the pie sales into our general fund and use it somewhere else. I think yes. that, well, it, it would come in, but I feel, I feel like that money should go to the Historic Society Reserve Fund. We wouldn't get anything if these people weren't working hard baking pies all the time for, for something they're passionate about. Then <clears throat> I understand it has to come into the general fund, but I feel like that should go into a reserve fund. Well, it wants to go to wherever they want to spend. If they were in a town entity, then it wouldn't have problems. Understood, yeah. yeah. Well, it could just be cash. Do it like you could give it to the bank. Like, <laughs> <laughs> pass the hat. <clears throat> but line 340 or 321 we should either increase that or zero it out but my guess is we should zero it out why it's us paying ourselves it's shown on the revenue side it's shown on the expense side now in the budget that we were provided but it goes to different budget areas I understand your point, but it's still an expense against their budget. If we consider each of these sections little mini, like sub budgets, it's an expense against their sub budget. So if you want an expense, they're not getting the revenue into their revenue budget. Uh, are they rosemary? I guess while well, it's coming to our, it's coming into the, into the general revenue. Yeah. Yeah. The general revenue. If nothing else, though, the 17 shown under proposed should be increased to. I believe it was 3,500. 30, I was going to say 3407. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, Correct. This is paying it. We need to match for right. it. If we're going to pay ourselves. We're going to be in the same. We're going to do it right. Yeah. It was thirty five oh seven fifty. Yes, okay. we're just going to go over thirty five. Yeah, get those fifties. Okay, thirty five five thirty five. Um. So, Brian, you'll just make sure that matches in the related whatever section. Yeah, that's where I got the thirties thirty five oh seven fifty. Okay. Choose an ally. Right on to that. Yep. No. They're self funded. Yep. I think that that's reasonable. <clears throat> what is this 56 number over here? It's uh, yeah, that was my question. It does for their. Proposed, it does not for their year end. <laughs> their year end. Well, their revenue should equal expense at the end of the year, right? In theory. They could pull from their reserve fund to make it equal. Um, but yeah, it should be. It should be equal and it is currently not. Seems like we ought to ask them to do that. Yep. Why are they significant? Yeah, what is it? A couple bought. thousand bucks. About 5,000. Or what? It's not quite a bit of equipment at the end of the year. Especially being outside the floor. Oops. So well, that would explain the 5,000. You're in close. Okay, Brian, you're on it. Yep. 
next. They call the bat with bat on the monster at point twenty three. What do you mean? They show revenue of eighty two hundred and you know. The budgeted spending of only two hundred, which meant a thousand dollars of taxpayer money. Way back. That needs to be uh that needs to be rectified. Yeah. Can you follow been... up on that, Brian? Mm -hmm. we, we need to make sure that revenue is matching expense. That's ideal. Even though you know, on the uh, Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I heard you, but I wasn't listening. All right. Okay. Well, I had a question about porta potties. Yep. Uh, yeah. It's still. Yeah, it is. is it an interesting one? It is. Fascinating. You know what? What about porta potties couldn't be fascinating? Um, it's it's still out there. Is it? Is it? Oops. Is it? Is it going to be left there? Uh, no, we don't keep one. Not for ice skating. We haven't in the past. Uh, I think there's a good chance we could be requested to keep a portalette out there. Oh, uh, we had. Oh, maybe I think at Old Mill Park. Old Mill Park, we have <laughs> for the last few years uh, on request from vast and uh, local users kept a winterized at the trail. Yes. So is the question, why is it still there? The question is, can it can it be? I, I assume if it's there, we're paying for it. Yeah. Um, so I don't think we should be. It's kind is of, it still there? It was the other day. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's, kind of it it's been there so long, I don't even know. But... Yeah, check on it, I guess. And, yep. And see. I'll blur. Uh, I use it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's why you're saving on water. It's really? Give me just a second. Okay. It is 8.30. Let's just take a pause. Can we start getting into flyway for a second? What? Oh, I'm listening. Um, Duncan, what did you tell me you want to talk about? I I just want to... And I think Brian has indicated that he's going to do it. We, we're we at a point where we're going to need to know oh, yeah. how much we have available to put in the budget for restricted, you know, for our proposed, proposed, proposed um, reservations. Yeah. Um, so I, I, you know, hopefully Rosemary and Brian can get together and give us because I think we're at a point where we need to know how much of our potential year-end balances we could apply to reduce taxes. I think we're going to need that for sure. Last year we had that in early January. We had those numbers. We, we've, I mean, the, we have the numbers uh, of what our cash on hand at the end of last year was. Uh, yeah, we have that. What I what I really but we don't have it incorporated with the end of everything else. So we have we've got some more updates. To yeah, that. you know, and, and all, all I'm saying is we're we're pretty close to a point where that's going to be kind of an imperative part of our funding process is to know what those numbers are and and make some proposals for how we reserve the funds. I agree. But some of that cannot be done until we go to the rest of the budget and set all what we anticipate for our year end balances. That's why it's really important for us. And I've been concentrating on the estimate of year end. So we really, you know, I guess that's my point is we're yeah. pretty close to that point in the budget trusting so We're going to need to know those in order to be able to make final decisions on the budget. Yeah, thank God. I was not sure we could get this far. Yeah, we are. I think we can do the first two highlights. Let's do it. Go. Yeah, we do. Go. All right. So uh, I've got some updates that I need to make to our uh, 
you've got the full spreadsheet for the budget and the way we calculate estimated salaries with changes that we've made to the bargaining unit employees. I've got some structural changes I need to make to the way we estimate their uh, salaries, salaries and salary changes in that. Okay. So basically nothing in this first section is correct. Plus for road labor, we should consider about putting something in there, especially if we pass a plus for road policy. Even just the four minutes time to inspect the roads is labor spent on them. We'll talk with Jason about that. Get his thoughts. Yep. Yes. Um, yeah, but we're already paying their labor. And their salaries. So this line item doesn't make a lot of sense. We have another line item later uh, for equipment materials spent on class four roads. So maybe we should delete that line. Can we remove it, Rosemary? I I'm going to advocate against not doing that because I think if you if you to your point if you want to put money into that line item I would take a little bit out of the general salaries and put it down in that line item. We could do it that way. I think the reason for doing that is is if we with the general roads permit municipal permit requirements if we're going to have to actually have to work on some of those roads it would be nice to know what our actual labor expenses were so maybe the time maybe that's another area i think the timesheet already has a category for class four roads doesn't it i believe that it does for class four roads i don't think that's one of the ones that we've had to add i am just thinking we don't get the time sheet we don't get the time sheet data we don't i don't know if we collate it in any way we don't get the time sheet data what do you mean i mean well we well we would if it got that. booked against that line we we saw it. my point being if we had the time sheet data elsewhere electronically and could get reports on that time sheet data we wouldn't have to break out individual lines. And it would give us a whole lot more information than just class four roads. Because I think once we start booking things, we could book our labor in a whole bunch of ways. We could book our labor for grant projects. We could book our labor for, I don't know, whatever. Like committee support. Committee support for ATP. For like, <laughs> All kinds of things, right? There's lots of different things for ditching, like for mud abatement. We could book our time all over the place. Is our budget the right place to do that? Or do we actually just need to digitize our timesheets in some way so that we can report off them? I think the answer to that question, in my opinion, is how accurate, how accurately do you want the budget to reflect where time is actually spent? <laughs> I do not want to break down our budget for all of those items we just talked about. That well, I just wanted expenses in all the committees. The backfill. Do you want a backfill? The, the only benefit that I can see is money kept in breaking out the salaries for class four highways. If the requirements from the uh, stormwater uh, runoffs require us to work on class four highways. And then you could show, okay, the labor, the well, the labor cost, and any materials and truck time and greater time, all of those things. It could be benefit. And you could go to the city and say, hey, this is what we, these are real dollars that we're spending on class four highways for state required <coughs> runoff funds. Uh, right now, the original. Reimbursement for any state you know, class four fire rate, but if there ever was a reason, it would be if they start requiring <clears throat> one on. And the other possible benefit would be able to be to be able to tell <clears throat> residents on class four roads um, that we were actually spending a little bit of money. Um, we always hear from them. You know, I live on a class four road. I pay full taxes. You don't. You know. You don't. 
you don't give me anything. I don't get anything out of your out of my taxes. And if we tracked it, it would at least say that we're spending us some amount of money. But we could track yeah. it without it being a like exactly like Beth said, we could track it without it being a budget item. Good. Uh, you don't want to track it. I don't want to micromanage any more than we already do. <clears throat> I mean, if if sometime we move toward electronic timesheets, fine. We can dive in and spend a few meetings on. But before that, I, mean, I guess I would I would go to the map against you equating now if I thought we ever could be reimbursed by the state in work we do on the platform. <laughs> but where we probably never ever will be. It probably yeah. Other thing is, even if we did, if we did digitize our time sheet in some way, we could go to the state with those numbers. Right. It actually probably better numbers. Yes. So do we want to talk about buildings and grounds. We beat that one. Since that has had no activity, and it could probably be removed. Really well. Remove it, Rosemary, please. <laughs> we'll be having this discussion on uh, highways, class four labor. It's uh, 346. Yep. 50 dash eight, dash five, dash 10. All right. Uh, uh, are you doing so? It's not vast, I believe. Yep. They're loud. Have you met any? They're, they're all pumped up because they're supposed to have some snow this week. Oh, uh, is that it? Okay. Next section: buildings and grounds expense. Um, no major. I mean, twenty-four thousand dollars for heat. heat. That heat is major. Yeah, that is. What is slap you? Chunk of spare battery. My pacemaker is going to break. I uh, do some bad. Uh, about you guys? My fuel oil went down two bucks in the last two weeks. So went down? Again. It's been dropping pretty rapidly. Maybe you could buy it for us. I would be willing to buy it for you. You're I've, been to me to buy some. I've, been, waiting. I've been waiting too. That's good to know. I understand that we did a lot of work. I think that number needs to be checked. Uh, I understand that it's up. Yeah. And then 22. Don't we already have it up above though? Why do we have it twice? Heat. Yeah. This, uh, this is specifically for the garage. Yeah. Town garage. The garage is separated. We combine. It's okay. I got it now. Sorry. I was not <clears throat> we are going to do a station on the garage. Yeah. Well, we certainly have been under budget. Have we? That was a big part of it. In 22, it was 20,000. Yeah. Ouch. That's before fuel prices went up. Well, but that was a bump. There was a little bump in the front. You know, they go up and down. It was double 21. Holy moly. Well, it's... it, it, it runs We off. just keep doubling yep. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No problem. <laughs> I'll adjust it. And I'll make a decent, cal decent calculation and guess at end of last year. Um, I think heat. that we just had you check the heat above too, yep. and I think the total gallons were both. I think that's why the heat above was so high. Could be. You know what I mean? Well, I, with total gallons. I think it might be because the village is paying half and it's not being reflected. Uh, uh, Maybe. Uh, Possible. Lots of possibilities. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to redo my calculations for all that. I don't believe that this was a calculation. I think that this was just a raw estimate. Next section, uh, summer roads. The question on paving and black top. Yep. The capital. So we've got 163 set aside. Um, how should that 163 that we've got set aside go into our year end? It should come in at somewhere. 
So and it and it should be expensed out as expense too. The 163. You're talking about the project that was gonna happen this year. That's the clay hill project. It's still going to happen this year, but it's gonna happen this this project. Yeah. I don't remember what was what was the bid for the project, Brian. I don't remember off the top of my head, but you're right. We should show it as income and expense. Yeah, expense. So uh, can you look at the that? bid and yep. And and so what do we do if um it's expense as a again the year expense? Uh, it will be in 23. Because in theory, they were going to do it this spring, right? Yeah. Before July 1. Yes. That's the commitment we have from them is that we're on their schedule for early spring. Okay. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, when we looked at the total bid, we were anticipating using the 163 that yeah. we have as restricted funds plus the current year budget. Yeah. I remember that also. Yep. That should get us up to your house, right? There. Oh, it should. Maybe <laughs> even a little bit on. Good. Then people want to slow down. Right? Yeah. yeah. I think most of these items for the remainder of flyaway, maybe we want Jason present for. Uh, but a quick overview that number for mud abatement is not correct. The number for what? Mud abatement. Not for this year. Which one am I to use? Uh, it'd be 375. Just what is mud abatement? It's like when they you put it on a hook and you throw it in, that's like eight. Yeah. Uh, mud abatement is, it covers two main areas. It is our work repairing during mud season, uh, but it also on better years, covers work we do to reduce damage during mud season. Like road fabric and places where road fabric kind of showing up, you know, if we add more gravel, okay. you know, if we've got a section that we're we think is gonna might wash, we might mix in a little bit more stone to the no, stone and gravel to the road. Just interesting that in 22 it went from 15 to 48 grams. I Last year was the one big project. Uh, no, actually, that was just a just learning how you do your budgets. Uh, last spring was a I remember was a complete was a disaster. The road. But that wasn't abatement, though. Yeah, that wouldn't be abatement. Wait a minute. Abatement that's was, 20. We that was 20. That's 22. 22. That's 22. Yeah. But that would be on 23s, actually. Last spring. Like, and, uh, last spring was 22. The this 22 ends June of last year. June of so 22. It'd be before June. But this spring was this larger spring. cost than that. No. no. No, no, 22 is this spring. 22 is the spring we just had. We, so yeah, years. and that's why it was 48,000. We're going into spring of 23. That that was why it came we're there. For, it for, happened for, in spring of 22. So it'll be fiscal year. Ending 22. in 23. No, no, no. So you're ending no. in 22 because it's June of 22. Uh, perhaps it's what's like. Yeah. 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 But this is it's not it's where the cost of the mud is going to be. We're trying to do a budget yeah. for next year. year. This year. Yeah. That's for town meeting. That's in gravel. The original intent of the mud abatement program was to take a specific road section and make an improvement to it so that it avoided. Having a bad mud situation. Yeah. Rosemary, what line item are you looking at? Um, 367. 367. Okay. Yeah. So the cost of this spring was is between those two. It's split between those two? Yes. What? No. It's not split evenly, but. It's not supposed to be split. Why is it split? Well, all? It split. Spring is spring. I mean, right. The same time of year as well. That's profound. But, but, but 
Is, <laughs> is, is, that, is that still what's more to work with your know, project? Right. The intent of the pilot movement is the highway department identified the worst places during months. French Hill. French Hill. Yeah. Plot Road. I mean, Plot Road is yeah. real. And they, where they, when they identified that year, and they would extract all the material out two or three feet, or get it down. <laughs> Put in uh, fabric paper and then new material. And after they did that, most plot no longer were an issue. So they go to the next uh, with track. So you want all spring roads to go on summer roads? Well, we only have summer and winter. Yeah, that's all we get. Well, like, I guess, motivating to me. Is well, either. We're a big mud. Was, if there's money left over, we do a project. It was supposed to be under annual and gravel stone. When you know mm -hmm. your, your basic mud, I mean your basic spring yeah. mud season. Some of the should have been under capital um, project. uh, projects. annual. It probably should have. It probably too much of it probably got assigned also because that's zero. Can we uh, fix that, Rosemary? Let's and we fix it for 22, the year that's closed? Yeah. Ah. Okay. If it's a really big headache, it's okay. Did they do a project last last year? A, a mud abatement project? A specific area? We can look. I don't think we did anything. I think that we, I think we called some of them mud abatement because we did what you would do for mud abatement to a damaged road. Uh, they did not have, I don't think they had the opportunity to do a separate mud abatement project. I think it was all just. I do not remember hearing when Steve Smith and uh, Brian Krause were born. Yeah. We would regularly every year hear what their intent was that year for <clears throat> mud abatement project. projects. Um, I don't remember hearing that from Hugh or. Uh, Jason, but you know, they maybe that needs to be uh re educated out through what the intent of that was. That line. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, we were hoping that over the course of 20 years that we might actually be able to reduce the amount of the annual expense of dumping gravel, you know, in a hole which is basically wasted. Well, this spring has proven. Maybe we don't need the budget for mud abatement at all. <clears throat> because right. it was the amount of material that we that was not. If they were doing it during the spring, that's, they weren't doing the real mud abatement project. But they but, but, but they weren't funny. putting it on Upper French Hill, and you know they weren't putting. I mean, they were. It was going to cost more money, money. which yeah. is. Probably correct. It's about impossible to know. Well, that was like the formal form where they had done one of the projects, they were no longer having mud issues. So it was saving the town money. Understand. I guess I don't agree. But okay, well let's have Jason part of this conversation. Yeah, he's yeah. So let's stop here. It's like a I like it. Stop. I do too. Can we just back up? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Could you go on vacation? Art, <laughs> should <laughs> <laughs> I get We think we get, still have six minutes. I'm going to even tell you. Mine 360 sticks. Yep. Anything? Make up sticks? Yeah. Cap capital? Yep. Yeah. You need to sometimes think about. That number has not been. You got to mention that last year too. We're not, not keeping up with inflation. I don't know what the cost because the petroleum base is going to be. I'm sure it's not going to go down. And the amount of gravel roads that we have that need to be or paved roads. I mean, we're losing ground. We need to keep up with our repairing our current paved roads. And that's only the ones with more than one house on them that we're trying to keep up with. We really should revisit, you know, at one point we had a, 
capital saving plan. Um, and geez, you know, I mean, on quite a number of years ago, we, we were estimating what the budget need was. So that was you know, 120,000, 30,000 of that. Uh, yeah. 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 So that was a while ago. If you look at some of the complement towns around, we're or spending about two weeks what we are do we do we um budget to maximize state aid with paving in class two stuff we do but uh we only get that what how often about every three years you know, they keep changing the rules so then you only get reimbursed on class two roads i understand them Right. And the majority, I mean, we have a lot of class three paved. We we have a decent amount of class three paved. Um, Jason and I have been targeting uh, Railroad Street for the next class two paving. Right? And if it's done right, the village is going to be super expensive. That's, a, that's why that's a good target for a paving grant. It is. Same time we dig it up, the village should replace their stormwater drains. Um, They're working on a stormwater. And that works grass. a cement road. So, it's gonna so basically, great. we're, I mean, we talked about this 10 or 15 years ago, oh. taking the concrete out yep. and redoing it. The problem is, there's really nothing good. under the concrete. <clears throat> I'm going to have to build a road for you. Yeah, because we've just been adding and adding and adding. Well, the last time we did it, we, um, Removed the pavement down to the concrete and then paved over the concrete. <clears throat> I suppose that concrete's nice and hard by now. It's good and hard. I mean, the problem with the problem with removing the concrete is there there is nothing under it. We you know we've done a couple of test digs and it's it's swamp. I mean, it's it's dirt. It's clay. Yeah, it's dirt. It's nothing close to even remotely good material. That's a village street. <laughs> Good input, Mark. Good input. All right, are we talking about? Are you ready? I'm content. Yeah. Oh, you're content. Do we need all the honors, right? Formally adjourned. Yes. Okay. No, we don't need the motion. Uh, we'll call ourselves adjourned at eight fifty-seven. Good job. Wonderful. Thank you, Beth.